Straight off the ledge, it's J.D. and Smitty! Welcome to the program. Phone lines are open, 239-277-9600 and 775-9600. Thanks to executive producer Tripod Billy, we are streaming live video at theledgeradioshow.com. You can listen live at 96krock.com and follow us on Facebook. Special thanks to our in-studio producer, Sick Rig. Hey, what's up, Southwest Florida? I'd first like to thank our title sponsor, Imperial Fire Alarm and Security, for all your fire alarm security, CCTV, or access control needs, commercial or residential. Call Imperial Fire Alarm and Security today at 239-288-6482. That's 239-288-6482. Or visit them on the web at imperialfiresecurity.com. The technicians are standing by. All right. Thanks, Smitty. We always appreciate our sponsors. Um, and I know that you're extra happy still from Sunday. You know, I just got to say, my hometown boys from Baltimore did it at the Super Bowl, man. And it's tough to get to the Super Bowl, let alone win it. And so it's a great, it was a great, great season for you us. You know something? With like four games to go, I'm sitting there and I'm going, you know, any any game now will be Ray's last game. The controversial it call. It should have been any well, game well, now. Well, they blew them out, and then they had they were known for the lights going out. As you know, the lights went out, and everybody probably got more drunk. And then they came back on, and they started to falter. And the 49ers came back man, strong, man. I thought it was over. I was on the edge of the sofa you know, here's cussing the, here, like a sailor. Here, I'm sitting there. I'm mm. sitting there. I had texted you earlier. You didn't say nothing. I hadn't no, said nothing. I was, but I was after, after, after the run, the the uh, the 108 yard kick kickoff yeah. return with yeah. Jacoby Jones. Yeah. For the touchdown, yeah. I text you. I go, "Hey, man, it's looking pretty good." Then, <laughs> then you start texting me. Oh, I okay? did say, "I said then, it ain't over yet." That's then the I'm lights saying. go out, and then and then the, then the, yeah. the the 49ers are coming back, and I'm like, "Oh man, I shouldn't have texted him. I think I jinxed him. Yeah. I jinxed him. <laughs> We're gonna lose now." Well, we have a local guy, Terrence Cody, who's from Fort Myers. He's he was he's on the Ravens, and he's on the Baltimore Ravens. He's on the defensive line. And man, he was he was he was the defensive went, line in Alabama. Yeah, and he went to Alabama. They'd only had to run a three man line with him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he, took so the, he took the place. Two guys. Maybe I'll try to get in touch with them, see if we can get them on. But who knows? You know. You know that's good though. Is he a rookie this year, or was it, or was it a year before? Year before, I think he was a, a rookie. But Justin Tucker was a rookie, the kicker. Yeah, yeah, he was a rookie from Texas, and um, Super Bowl ring first it, year it takes out. A lot of people never even got to the Super Bowl or got a ring. Famous players, how tough it is. I know. Barry Sanders never did it. You that's know? a shame. Tony Gonzalez never did it. I know. Ladamian Tomlinson. Okay. He never. He never. With the, with never. the Chargers, right? Nope. Eric Dickerson. Dan Marino. Dan Marino. Know. You know, speaking of Dan Marino. Oh, I, wait, O.J. Simpson. For real? O.J. didn't either? Uh, Earl Campbell. Wow. Chris Carter. All these guys. Warren Moon. Yeah, that's amazing. Deacon Jones. That's old school. And Barry Sanders. Huh? Did Tarkenton get one? No, 0 for 4. 0 oh, for 4. He played in four Super you, Bowls with the Vikings. You, you, they can lost you imagine the, the, the... Was the, that like uh, Jim Kelly? Yeah, four. <laughs> sure. Can you imagine Jim Kelly? Four. It was like four almost in a row. Was it four in a row, or was it four out of five? What was it? No, they lost two in a row. Two in a row, that's yeah, what it was. four in like yeah. six years. Yeah. Wow. And, I mean, you just have to be just standing on a ledge with a gun in your mouth, ready to go. But, you know, you made it four years. You made it four <laughs> times. That doesn't mean nothing if you don't come out with a ring. Just as Dan Marino, he would trade probably almost all of his records if he could have said, I got a ring. And his love child. I got a ring. That's right. And his love child. <laughs> that's right. Love child. He you played know, in the Super Bowl, though, in his rookie year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he did. That's right. You know, He played. I, I told Smitty that I, I almost, I, I literally stopped watching NFL when Dan Marino retired. Because he was like my all-time favorite quarterback and player, and I felt fair weather fan for the football. Well, no, it, it was he was he was my guy. Hero. I mean, I would have liked to seen him still playing in a wheelchair right. out on the out on the fifty yard. He could still throw it from a wheelchair because he, he couldn't move around really well. well he, could probably, he was like RoboCop, but kind of broken he, down. Pound for pound, he probably had the best arm ever in the man. NFL. He he could it throw was, a rocket, man. What, what do you think, Rick? It was it was a good arm, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Dan Fouts maybe. Yeah, Dan Fouts in the seventies. Oh, really? You knew groom oh, Dan Fouts, great. don't you? No, Johnny Unitas. Johnny Unitas. Yes, he was. He went to the, the Chargers. That was your boy, right? Yeah, he went to the Chargers for like one year, and and Fouts was behind him, so he kind of like picked his brain. 
Mm. And um, that was a good guy to pick from, though. So uh, well, I was I was glad. You know, what I was surprised to see is I did not see Ray Lewis levitate up into heaven after the game. I thought he was going to two seven seven ninety six hundred or seven seven five ninety six hundred. Give us a call. No, Ray Ray did not uh, levitate, but he got another ring. It was two hundred thousand people. The city shut down. They deserve it. It's been a long run. And it's a tough division, man. You've got Cincinnati, which is always too hard with, with uh, Marvin Lewis out there. You've got always the Steelers you had to beat up on, which is brutal. And you got Baltimore. It's a very, very tough division. Yeah, man. So next year is going to be a tough year because everybody's going to give, you, give you your tough game. You don't now. know where, where Ed's going. No, everybody's salary cap issues. Yeah. So, Joe Flacco is going to be like the highest paid oh, quarterback. They're they're 20, 20 million, million a year. Million a year. <laughs> which to me, I don't, I don't agree with because I, He's an up and down what? quarterback all season. He, did you, you see you, his record? I realize that. I know postseason did great, he's but the best. Uh, but he Iowa was up Montana, and down. Eleven touchdowns, no interceptions. I hear you. Did you see the throw against Peyton in Denver? The seventy yard bomb. I hear did you. Did you see it? No, I saw it. The man deserves it. I, I understand he did if a great job. If your kid was playing NFL, throwing them bombs, you'd want him to get twenty million dollars. I would want him to. <laughs> but it's okay for everybody. But do I think he's better than say a a, a Peyton he's Manning? He's in the top five. He's in the top he, five. He probably is now. In the top let's uh, let's take a call. We got uh, a gentleman on line one. It's Kenny from West Virginia. Kenny, you're on the Ledge Radio Show with JD and Smitty. Turn your radio down. Thanks for doing some love to the Ravens. I appreciate that, Smitty. Hey, turn your radio down, buddy. Turn your radio down. Johnny Unitas, because he was just he created some he created this minute drill. West Virginia, and he was just amazing. That man was. I mean, he was the one that started calling his own plays before Peyton Manning and all that. So. There you go. We all know up here in the Middle Atlantic, we see y'all. Thank you for uh for mentioning the there. Smith. Hey, you yeah, got it, man. That's, got it. We got we got to give it where it's due. You so it, uh, thanks for listening, man. Thanks for Kenny. Thanks, West Virginia. Yep. Representing. No problem, all right. Thank you, but yeah, and he was right. Johnny Nice was the architect of the two minute drill. That's what he was saying. Yep. I didn't and, know that. And, and um, you know, people want to know what it takes to be a pro, pro a, a super pro. You're great. Johnny Unitas and Raymond Berry said they used to go out and throw the ball at night in the dark, and they used to pace themselves, and they could hardly see the ball, and they got used to catching up on the dark. Uh, they would know the exact yeah, distance, the exact distance, and, and placement, step, timing, and timing, everything. Yeah. That's you have to p- dedicate yourself, sure, to be the very, very top of your game. I would agree. And uh, yeah, that's, it's let's take things. another call. We got uh, on line two, sick Rick. We got Ladonna from Pine Island. You're on the Ledge Radio Show with JD and Smitty. Yes, uh, I just went to a chiropractor, and they say I have lost all the curvature in my neck. That's terrible. Of nine. I, yeah, I and uh, hate that. I, I had a neck injury as a child, so yeah. I'm curious now that I'm finding out about it this late in the program, some uh-huh. years later. Yeah. Well, uh, will they be able to fix this in any way, or to at least relieve the pain? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I would definitely call nine one one for that and have them take care of that for you. <laughs> don't 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 let him tease you, <laughs> I think you man. Got, I think you got the wrong show, Ladonna. I, I tell you what, though, we give some mean massages, though. Yeah, you, you come in, come Smitty might give you a massage. Here, we set up a table, rub you down, a little candlelight, a little wine. You know what I mean? We do what we can. And we're okay. not we're not okay. licensed massage therapists, but uh, but we did we, stay we, in a Holiday Inn Express just, last we night. We did, and we, uh, <laughs> and uh, we we don't promise happy ending, so it ain't going to happen. If you want that, there is a Hong Kong massage up on Forty One. Hong Kong massage. Oh, Hong Kong massage. <laughs> I give you a long time. All right, take care, Ladonna. Good luck with your neck. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> anyway, all right, back it on was, track. It, it was great. Hey, Ladonna, man, I'm serious. Go to the Hong Kong massage. I'll help you out for real. How do you know? Because they help everybody. Everybody's with a smile on their face. That's their motto. Did, they, did you? No, I never went. Oh, I everybody went. but you. No, no, you'll never see me in there. You know, you, what do you wear, a disguise? Yeah, I do. I wear a dress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. So, anyhow, th- th- congratulations to them, and, and just want to touch base with the local guys. And, and if you know, it was a great Super Bowl. We're looking forward forward to next year. I hear you. Okay, now you All got right. you got this big issue you want to talk. This about. This is not my big issue. This was your big issue. Uh, I think we probably agree on this. All right, so the Boy Scouts of America. I don't know if I don't even know if it's if it's they've got the finale uh, finale to this yet, but. They are looking into, or did they approve? Well, they're, they're delaying their decision on admitting the gays. Now, I, I mean... Can you say that in any more derogatory uh, hold on, tone? I'll try. Let me try it again. Okay. <laughs> they're trying to love the gays into the Boy Scouts. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Those gays ding, wanted ding, everywhere. Ding. <laughs> Let me get inside the zip up there. Come on. A little cold up here. We got to cuddle. So... 
What I mean, you, that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. Well, what are you? Th- I mean, what are you thinking about it? When I, mean, I think about it, that is the most asinine decision anybody could be forced to make. Well, I, I bet the gays would would disagree. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure they would. <laughs> I mean, how? I mean, why don't you just have some priests go along for the trip too? Is that like I mean, a, is that a like kumbaya letting, meeting? While sitting around and play grab butt. You is know that what is I mean? that like letting the fox in the hen house? That's or? a lot like letting the fox in the hen house. Are you kidding well, me? Anybody out there? That thinks that the gay should be allowed to go into the Boy Scout. Please give us a call. Well, I'm sure you're going to get two seventy seven ninety six hundred. Well, let me ask you this. Now, you know, I'm 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 probably of the same mindset of you, and and I don't know how the Boy Scouts were founded, and if if they were founded it's 103 on 103 year old, like 1907, well, that, well, that, came from England. Yeah, that's just from for the United States. Yes. It was around that time. But I was looking it up. I did some research on it. And I found the Wikipedia, the, the United States. Yeah, actually, your website, Wikipedia. <laughs> the United States Boy Scouts motto. Now, every country has their own motto. Sure, I love you to read it. It's a, it's their, their motto. It says, "On my honor, I will do my best to my duty to God and my country, mm-hmm. and to obey the Scout law, mm-hmm. to help other people at all times, mm-hmm. to to keep myself physically strong." Mm-hmm. Mentally awake and morally straight. Mm-hmm. So how the morally does, straight part? I'll be concentrating on. About well, that how does that? Now. How does that be? How would that be interpreted then? <laughs> Depends. How else could you interpret it? Morally straight would mean straight up. You don't cross that boundary. That you don't. I mean, that's when somebody says morally straight. I think that the connotation of the word "I'm straight." Well, Everybody's used that. You know, right. is, she, is he or she bisexual? Are they gay? Are they straight? So that when I hear straight, I well, think Well, do you, do you think that this is kind of like the military where it was don't ask, don't tell, whereas in the Boy Scouts, I suppose if you if you weren't... It's more like hide it and seek, man. The, if it wasn't out of the closet, as they say, then you wouldn't know. You know, you wouldn't know that the scout leader was gay or you wouldn't know that a particular um, member was gay. But at this point, Are they're you looking defending at. Are you them? No, well, I'm just <laughs> saying that there's. I'm just saying there's two sides of the story. Yeah, um, a good side and a bad side. But you've you've got to see where, maybe where the Boy Scouts started, and and, I mean, I don't know the world. And that is going to open up a world of lawsuits. I mean, you are going to have major, major accusations. Right. Some may not even be. Proven, you know where, where I remember the old days when you were playing football and the coach would slap you on the butt. He said, "Go in there, get him, kid, right. slap you." Right. Nobody thought anything all, and sexual all, and about it. All the it. old coaches still do still, that. Nobody yeah. does anything about that nowadays. If you do something like that to a kid, you're automatically you're, people kind of you're sexually you're harassing, sexually them, harassing or, yeah. them. And I think that this is going to open up just a like a Pandora's box. It's crazy. You can have people that are claiming they got grabbed, even if they didn't. You're going to have people that were. You know, obviously. Do you think it's going to change the uh, the membership? Do you think you're going to gain or lose members this way? I don't know. I, don't I mean, because this is kind of, I, I don't want to equate it to this, but I guess if you look at the topic we discussed last week, the women in, in combat on the front lines, mm-hmm. you know, and the question there was, if you allow women on the front lines, does it make the military stronger or weaker? And in this case, you know, allowing and this. Tampa Pete called said it was a good thing. Well, of course he did. Um <laughs> But allowing this to go through, does Tampa this Pete. does this enhance the Boy Scouts of America? How can it and their moral them? equality and their moral it, aptitude, no, no, or that, does it that, detract that, from that it? That oath that you just read, right? Or is this just an, an attempt for politically correctness to to let everybody That's everybody's equal now? That's what it is. It's just an attempt for political correctness, and that oath that stands so true is going to be diluted, and now you're going to have people that are going to start. Now, see, I, I I'm very. Um, I guess it's it's different for me to see this take from you on this subject because I fight for that the same way with the Constitution. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm for gays being able to do a whole lot of stuff. Just not everything. Just not with kids. Okay. You know, I mean, if you if you're well, a, remember, just because they're gay doesn't mean they're a predator. Well, you got kids. It doesn't mean they're a predator. Oh, come on, man. They just happen to like you, someone if, that, look, that looks right, similar to them. Right. If you're a 27-year-old, 28-year-old man, gay, and attracted to males... doesn't mean you're attracted to male kids. Yes, it does. That, that's exactly <laughs> oh, what it means. That's come it, on, that's Sig, Rick. That's Jesus exactly Smith. what it means. Listen to oh, so, you. So if you've got a guy, oh, you got a guy God, who, who, who's a sexual pervert, stop. and he's up there at the Girl Scouts of America... A, someone who's homosexual <laughs> is a sexual pervert? 
If he's That's gay, what, he is. Oh, no. If he's gay, he is. Boy, watch out, man. See, this is Smitty, union hey, Billy, lover, he's Obama need supporter. Some protection walking out the back door. <laughs> Don't you tell me. You're kidding me. What? what, you, what okay, a, listen, what a Michael Jackson. Listen, Michael oh. Jackson. Just because he's sleeping in my bed doesn't mean I'm playing around, okay? Come on. A dog doesn't bark at a parked car. So, so, Got it? so, so, it's, so you're not tempted to look at little girls because you're no. heterosexual. No, 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 but, no, no. but somebody who's homosexual no. is going to be I have a moral guy. Line that I do not go. And someone who's no. someone who's Let me tell homosexual you is, is Let, immoral. Let me tell you a story that happened to me. True story. Here I was. We, I was no, no, no. Hang on one true. second. Two seven seven ninety six hundred seven seven five ninety six hundred. Go ahead. True story. I was in Toys R Us last Christmas, and I was looking at maybe getting another bike because I need to lose a few pounds. You know, not, not as much as you. So you're in the kids' toy store. Yeah, I'm in the kids' toy store. Okay. And I'm looking. What are you at doing there? I'm Are you checking out the little kids? They got bikes, jerk. Okay. This is what I'm trying. So to is Walmart. This is the problem with society. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at bikes, and there's a little kid there, and he's like five, seven years old. I don't know, and he's trying to get his fall. And you smack bike. his butt? No, I didn't smack oh. his butt. He started to fall, so I like put my hand, grabs here, man, helped him up on the bike, and that was it. Man, you would have thought that. You know, it was the worst thing. And when parents came over, you know, grabbed the kid. I'm like, I, I'm just to help the kid who's falling. What do you want me to do? Let him in his face. But this is what society has become. Right. Society has become so. But it twisted. sounds. But it sounds twisted. to me like, with some of your, some of your ways of thinking, that that helps society society to become twisted because just. Just because someone is of that persuasion doesn't mean that they are a sexual predator. Well, they're not all, but you don't tempt fate. And if somebody is, like you said, that persuasion and wants to go that way, you don't put them in there with temptation. But you got it. This got... is the most closed-minded thing I've ever heard on this show, and that's saying a lot. Right. I'm not kidding. This is coming from is... an atheist. Right. This is you know, coming from a guy who doesn't even believe in, in God, life. he's going to call me oh, closed-minded. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, I don't, that's a tough one, man, because. If two seven seven ninety six hundred or seven seven five ninety six hundred, maybe I'm, I'm going to try to Hold explain. On, I'm going to try to maybe see if I can help help Smitty out with this and maybe oh, defend. Man, his... it's not it's a no brainer. These are kids. You got to protect them at all. So costs. this this is the this all is costs. I think, and I understand that. And I think this is the line of. Th I'm I'm going to see if this is the line of thinking. I'm going to try to psychologize Smitty real quick. Oh, man, you're going to be a psychologist. All right, so we all got hold for this. Point. Well, no, hear me out. Hear me out. So if if someone's homosexual, mm -hmm. then they get an immediate. Um, Banning. They're, no, no. When they're, they get an immediate non-moral. They're non-moral because they're homosexual, right? According to you. Well, I, God, they're non-moral. I'm listening. Okay. I'm listening. Therefore, because they don't have morals, then they're automatically also a, a good potential candidate to be a sexual predator. Is that how you're equating this? Well, you're broad brushing like you do everything else. I got you. And I understand. I, I'm, I understand your angle. You're going to broad brush it all, so it's all. I'm dirty. trying to help understand I'm, you. I'm trying to help you to understand. If you have a child and you love this child, whether he's five, seven, thirteen, ten, whatever, and you have a man there who's a grown man who has a potent, potential poten potential to be attracted to males, and he's a gay man, right? You don't put him in there with a 13-year-old boy who's... And if you've got a daughter, don't let her go to school if she's got a male teacher because, you know... No, 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 that's different. That's well, different. That, that see, that's the other side of the argument, though, Smitty, is that... I'm not playing that argument. So... That's, that, that, that's, that's something that is different than people that have an attraction but that's to the, the thing, same though, that's what sex. But, but how is it different than a guy that is attracted to a female? Because that's a normal a thing to be attracted. Student. A guy being attracted to females has been going on since the beginning of time. Having men on men isn't normal. And I'm not going to put my kid, if I was a parent with my kids that young, into a, a thing. Let's, with, hey, you know what? Let's, um, let's take a quick break. Can you believe that people aren't believing that? I would never. I would put my gauntlet and gun, protect these kids no matter what. Listen, before we, before we, before we go to break, let Common me give a, a quick plug. Absolutely. Um, to the 2013 Walk for Wishes. It's a 5K walk run uh, set for March 16th of this year. Uh, registration begins at 7.30 a.m. with the 5K walk run beginning at 8.30 uh, family fun day starting at 9, running till about 11. All ages are encouraged to participate in the event to help make wishes come true. It is for the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Southwest Florida. Absolutely. Uh, the event will be a certified timed 5K walk run. Uh, it's all about participation, having fun, raising funds to grant local wishes. Uh, Pre-registration fees for the walk for wishes are $25 for adults, 15 for students, 10 for children, 12 years of age or younger. 
Uh, the event day registration is $30 for adults, 20 for students, 15 for uh, children 12 and under. Registration is available at walkforwishes.net to sign up as an individual or to register a team. Any team that raises $2,500 or more will be named a partner in sponsoring a child's wish, and any team that raises $5,000 or more will be named a sponsor for a child's wish. Uh, the sponsorships range from $500 to $3,500 are still available for the event. The goal is to raise enough money to grant five local wishes Please call 239-992-9474 for additional information. That's for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Ledge Radio Show will be right back. Hey, it's Bubba the Love Sponge. Check me out mornings right here on 96K Rock from 6 till 10 a.m. Followed by an all-new lineup of the best damn radio shows, period. Zeno and Garrett Middays. Stan and Haney Afternoons. Followed by Lex and Terry, the Nardi, the Alex Jones Show, and Man Count. Check out all the shows on 96krock.com. Take K-Rock everywhere you go by downloading the iRadio Now app on your smartphone or your Android. It's a radio station that has balls to give you exactly what you wanted. Entertaining radio. 96krock. Talk that rocks. Securing your family, your business, your property. That's what's important in your world. No matter how big, no matter how small, secure your world with Imperial Fire Alarm and Security today. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security is a local company with hometown service the way it should be. One call to Imperial will align you with the most effective fire alarm security and surveillance systems as well as state-of-the-art wireless monitoring. If you're a property manager or condo association member, ask about Imperial's wireless monitoring systems to replace costly and unreliable phone lines and save your community thousands from individual homes to large communities. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security can secure your world. Don't you think it's time to secure your world? Imperial Fire Alarm and Security services leave Charlotte and Collier County. Learn more at imperialfiresecurity.com or to schedule your free consultation, call 239-288-6482. Secure your world at imperialfiresecurity.com. License number EF200046. Miramar Outlets is the place to shop, dine, and play with over 140 top designer brand name outlets with savings up to 70% off. Join us this Saturday in the Mundo Fox Playland for Valentine's Day cookie decorating from 1 to 3 p.m. while supplies last. Dig up great prizes during Miramar outlets diamond dig on sunday from one till three selected participants will dig for prizes including designer handbags makeovers dinner and a show a mint topaz and much more enter now for your chance to dig at these participating stores ultra diamonds dkny neiman marcus last call and bailey banks and biddle miramar outlets features live entertainment throughout the mall every saturday from 1 to 7 p.m and every sunday from 1 to 4 p.m enjoy the cool sounds of talented musicians and don't miss the green market every sunday starting at 10 a.m. Visit MiramarOutlets.com for more information. Great names, great savings, and great entertainment at Miramar Outlets. Exit 123 off I-75 in Estero between Naples and Fort Myers. You know what you'll find inside this Coca-Cola? Incredible taste, ice-cold refreshment, great music. I was going to say great music. Because when you pop open a Coke, you can enjoy Lifehouse at Universal Studios Mardi Gras. And if I pop open this one? It's Steve Miller Band. Plus, there's Trey Songs, Montgomery Gentry, and more. Catch all the fun with the Universal Orlando 2 Park Annual Pass. Right now, Florida residents can save up to $25 on any annual pass with a Coca-Cola UPC code. Enjoy a year of excitement at both Universal Parks, plus every Mardi Gras concert. So, open happiness with a Coke. And experience the biggest bash this side of the bayou, Mardi Gras, at Universal Studios. For tickets and a complete concert lineup, visit UniversalOrlando.com. Offer ends April 21st. Restrictions apply. Entertainment subject to change without notice. Good day. This is Scott for Scott's Tough Builder Bonus S Weed and Feed. The fine folks at Scott's have created a perfect potion for St. Augustine lawns here in Florida. Formulated to terminate dollar weed and clover with extreme prejudice. That's a good thing. And now for the bonus. Scott's Bonus S also provides your lawn with essential nutrients. Learn more at scotts.com. Go on. Put down some Scott's Tough Builder Bonus S this weekend. Feed your lawn. Feed it. The world's greatest Pink Floyd show, Brit Floyd, presents Pulse World Tour 2013. The Pink Floyd Ultimate Light and Sound Experience. Amazing note-for-note performances of five full Pink Floyd album size. Live at your main arena on Tuesday, April 23rd at 8 p.m. With stunning video animation, dazzling laser show, theatrics, and inflatables. An evening you'll never forget. 
Tickets are on sale now at Jermaine Arena's Capital Bank box office or at Ticketmaster.com. Now back to the Ledge Radio Show with J.D. and Smitty. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. The Ledge Radio Show with J.D. and Smitty on 96 K Rock. Welcome back. The phone numbers are 239-277-9600 or 775-9600. You can send us an email, JD or Smitty at theledgeradioshow.com. You can check out our live stream at theledgeradioshow.com. If you'd like to advertise during this show every Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon, visit our website, contact us for details. And uh, just before we went to break, Smitty, we had a caller call in. Let's take, go ahead and take him. Sure. Sick Rick, uh, line one. We got Mark. Mark, are you on the line? What's up, Mark? Hi. Good morning. Listen, this is the first time I've ever heard your show, and... Uh Basically, the, the comment said, I, I don't know either one of your gentleman's names, but the guy with the deeper voice, I believe the guy I'm talking now, you pretty much hit the same thing that I was going to say. Just because you're gay does not make you a pedophile. Just because you're a homosexual, you don't, it does not going to turn you on to, to little boys. Or you, you, understand, you understand what I'm saying? I got you, buddy. That's JD. That, that's me. I, I agree with you. I disagree with you. That's Smitty. I mean, he, that's Smitty's the liberal. He's a homophobic liberal. Don't ask him about blacks, blacks or Jews either. Sexual. Just because I'm heterosexual is not going to make me go out after little girls. I mean, Let me tell you, I don't know a single parent that would even take the chance if they put him in with a bunch of guy, gay guys and say, oh, you know what? Here, Joey. Here, here, Johnny. You go spend a weekend in the bushes with Joe and Fred here. They're gay, but don't worry. It's all going to be good. If you take that chance, then you, then you wear that badge. That's the cross you're going to have to bear as a parent not protecting your kid. I hear you saying. Unfortunately, the world today has made us more paranoid. It's the same well, thing you're right. as the bike, bike incident. You know, my, we, me and my wife do not have kids, so I, I can't say, hey, personally, this is what I would do. But, you know, me and my wife do not have kids. So my wife, you know, she loves kids. She's from a family of 13. She's grown up with a big family. So she's friendly with kids. And there are times I say to my wife, hey, be careful. Watch what's happening here because you don't know what the parents think. And that's a shame that we have to grow up in this type of world. But, but again, the last uh, the last thing I'm going to say is being gay does not make you a pedophile. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for the call. No, I, I, for look, I understand, and I, you know, we, sometimes we generally speak, and I, I understand that not every single solitary person that I'm talking about is going to be attracted to young boys. But if you are and you have that kind of perplexity to be attracted to males, it's not a good idea to put your young boys in there with guys that are like that. And I know a lot of gay guys, some of them are Republican, and they're very nice guys. Some are very, very nice Respectable well, men. Now that's it's, but it's weird. I am it's not weird gonna, though that I, I'm not going to have a here, that's cross. the classic. I've even got some gay friends. I do. <laughs> I've even I got know. a black friend. I, even, I even have a black friend. Congratulations, Smitty. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Hey, Smitty, I got a serious question. I know for a lot you. of people out there saying you're right, Smitty. Don't let it happen. I I'll protect those kids well, for the day till the day I die. I got a serious question for you. You think the uh, Boy Scouts will come up with new new merit badges now? Probably a new logo. <laughs> new merit badge? Yeah, new merit badge, all right. <laughs> what do you think it would say? I don't even want to get into it. <laughs> I, I survived the... Huh? I survived, I survived the, the camping trip I with... Was, uh, I survived the camping trip. With Uncle Tom and Aunt Fred? That's it. That's it. <laughs> well... We played hide the possum. <laughs> That's just the, the, seven, the, un seven. the unmolested badge. I went through the bushes without being molested. <laughs> unmolested, by homosexual. Unmolested That's terrible. Fest. Two three nine two seven seven ninety six hundred or seven seven five ninety six hundred. Do you think they should allow? The gay men to run a bunch of boys out in the woods. That's what you. That's what you're basically. I mean, really, doing. that is what it comes down that's what to. What it comes down to. You know. Would you trust them? All of them, not just you know. But do you trust the ones that aren't that aren't openly gay? You don't even know if they're gay. So how is it? You're trusting somebody with someone else with your kids. Period. Whether whatever yes. their sexual preference is. Yes. Whether they're a certain color. Whether no, it's a male or a gay. female, we're talking about sexual activity. What if you don't know they're gay? What if you don't know that they're a, Maybe, they're not gay but you know they're what? a predator? Here's, that's a good point. And you know what I'll say to that? If you are, you should disclose it. You should disclose whether you are a gay man or bisexual. If you're going to be in the woods with a bunch of kids, taking them for a, a, a trip out there to camp all weekend in a duffel bag, having a good time, double sleeping bag, double sleeping bag. Playing pup tent, doing that whole thing, 
then what's going to happen is you should disclose the fact. <laughs> Sig rig is you should disclose himself. the fact that that you have that type of tendency. Have the, you ever seen if you're a, a parent? Wouldn't you want to know if you were a parent? Have you, Have you ever seen a liberal homophobe? <laughs> You've met one now. He's a uh, take a, take, take a, phone call. a All right, trendsetter. Let's, let's take uh, caller uh, line one. It's Kenny again from West Virginia. Kenny, what's up, man? Yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, I agree with Sid here. It would be like sending a straight male that's, you know, that's attracted to women out in the woods with the Girl Scouts to, you know, for the weekend. You wouldn't want to send a, um, you know, a, a male. You'd want to send women with the Girl Scouts. Well, actually, you know what? That actually makes some sense because I do believe that, that most of the Girl Scout troops are ran by women, and so the moms will the moms will run the Girl Scout troops. Which maybe it's six. just I don't know. Maybe it's just um, maybe it's just the best policy high, to. Yeah, it's, it's common so sense. Crazy. Thanks. Thanks. All right, Kenny. Thanks, thanks, thanks Kenny. man. And that's common oh, sense, God. man. You don't you don't send like you said if you had this studly so, swimmer so it, guy who was twenty six years old, would you send him out to a bunch of fourteen year old? Chicks, hot little girls running around. You'd be How like, old were they? I don't know, 15? 16? I don't no. know. <laughs> you just keep up in the age until they're legal. I know what your game well, is. Well, it may be legal in Georgia. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's probably legal in, in Immokalee. So. Okay. Let's take another call. we got line two. Uh, Andy from Bonita. Andy, you're on the Ledge Radio Show. Yeah, how you doing? Good, man. What you got for us? Uh, well, you know, it, it, I think it would bother me personally. I, I'm not offended by gays or anything. I do have gay friends, but I mean... <laughs> See? I have my young son being vulnerable to that, you know, atmosphere. You know, right. it, it, so you you you'd feel uncomfortable putting him in that I, situation. I, I would feel somewhat uncomfortable. I mean, I would trust my son. You Imagine know, he, how he would feel. I mean, but I don't. I don't. I don't know. I, it just makes me very uncomfortable and very questionable. As you know, That's right. because you hear so much going on in the world today about That's right. uh, things happening and right. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Andy. If um, if your son was either already in the Boy Scouts or wanted to join the Boy Scouts, and you knew that the, that the Scout Master or Scout Leader was was worshipful, openly gay, worshipful master, um, would you tell your son he could not? Or no, I would not. What well, What would you do? Absolutely not, because I was a Cub Scout and my brother was a Boy Scout, and there were there were gay people in there. Right. But. You know, we just kept to ourselves. It's all, it's almost like, I don't know, it's, you, you gotta be careful about this. It's a very touchy subject and it's, it would be a discrimination in a way, wouldn't it? Well, it, it absolutely, absolutely is discrimination, especially in, with today's anti-discrimination laws. Uh, but I guess it's up to the parent. You know, if the parent chooses not to put their child in, that's completely their choice because they, they own their children until they're 18, you know? Well, it's, you know, it's also like we are taught, you know, to be prejudiced and to be negative against every kind of race. I remember growing up as a child in the 60s, there was a commercial with a little boy and his grandfather, and he said, uh, who's Billy? He said, Billy's my Jewish friend. He goes, why do you see Billy as your Jewish friend? Because he's Jewish, and he said he was prejudiced. Right. So we're taught these things growing up. That's very true. Parents. Well, and, and, you know, I, so, and it's a shame in today's society. Yeah, but you're not, well, taught to be, you're not taught to be gay. No, but you're taught to, you could be taught to hate them and be against them. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not you know, hating like nobody here. I just don't plan, want my kid say. exposed to it. Like you said, there's, there's a certain part of in your, in your body where you're thinking in your mind, a survivalist almost thinking, nah, I don't know, man. It just doesn't sound like a good idea. And you know, that's your, that's your conscious and your morality speaking to your head saying, don't do it. Don't do it. And so that's, you're right. That I, I would feel very, very uncomfortable. And likewise, right. I would feel uncomfortable if I had a little girl that was fifteen or thirteen and or whatever. Going to the Girl Scouts with a with a, well, with yeah. a guy, well, yeah, Scout Master, well, Stud Master over there, taking her out there and and, and going swimming in the lake. You know, I'd be like, mm, not going to happen. I don't know, man. This don't look so good. What do you think about that, Sick Rick? Hey, well, thanks for the call, Andy. We thanks, appreciate Andy. listening, buddy. Oh, it's great. Have a great day, guys. So, Sick Rick, if if you've got a, a girl, a daughter in the Girl Scouts, just looks like know, Pamela Anderson. That looks like Pamela Anderson, but younger, and she's going to go out with the guy scout master. Yeah, but that, that wouldn't happen because you, you, it's like you're implying that there's some sort of... It wouldn't like, happen. It wouldn't happen. You just want it one way. No, I don't. Well, yes, you do. You, what, can't, you hang want on. it one way, but you don't want it the other hang way. Hang on, but what, what wouldn't happen? What wouldn't happen? Yeah, what wouldn't happen? A, a, a male would not be a leader in the Girl Scouts, just like... What if it was a gay male? 
He, he, he's in. No, but why, he's, why, he's why, 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 maybe his daughter. Why is sexuality even a question in the boys' Because these kids are innocent. I understand, they're, but, they're by, fragile. but you're implying then that the gay men are going, hey, kids, well, let me tell you a little bit that's about That's what them. you're implying. No, that's I'm saying implying. that there's temptation, L there's and not. you have to protect these kids no matter there's what. There's temptation? No matter so what. So a gay man who's a scout leader is going to be tempted by, by, by little boys he's leading? What, what listen, if this, listen what if this preacher. Game, Preacher Rick. <laughs> what if this gay man is like a pillar of the community, a, a lawyer who's done community service? Oh, like John Casey, that? like John Casey was. Well, I think. But what I'm saying though is, if there's the the male figure, the maybe the father has a daughter in the Girl Scouts. No one would be the tr the troop leader. So he he says he'll do it. Are you saying that, that they wouldn't allow? That's not allowed. I I don't know. I would I you have would, no would that bother you? It's a put if you if you had a daughter. To let her go off in the woods with the male scout leader. I, we, we, we send our kids to school every day with male teachers, but you, you're talking about in the woods. Yeah, you know, like everything the Boy Scouts do is in the woods. Well, they do go it's camping about every two months. Closet. Okay, they do. They go clamping. <laughs> and how many adults are with them? Like one? No, no I, th they're, I think they're, it's a large group. A handful they're of the adults. possibilities of combinations, like you're saying, are you know infinite. You right. can talk about them forever. Well, what if there's one here, three there, four there? I'm telling you, these kids are subject to all kind of possibilities. Like impressionable. Impressionable. They're young. They're they're compromised. What happens with you know when somebody molests you and says, "Come behind, behind the bushes here. Let me show you something." And he's out in the middle of woods. You'll do what I tell I you. I would send That's, my kids to Boy Scouts or you, Girl Scouts, assuming that they were going to be scouts and it had nothing to do with yeah, sex. That, that's just like that's I said naive. School, you're being, or like they they walk down the you're street. You're being naive. Really? Hey, you're have being you naive. would you let your teenage daughter go shopping in a grocery store? How do you know the clerk behind the counter isn't That's gay? different. That's in public. That's in public. Didn't you see the difference? Are you well, that, that close that, that, I, I do agree with public versus private. Yeah. I mean, sure. Out it's, in the it's woods, common you, you know, sense. You don't you go do on it. Little, you go on a little hike. You get off the beaten trail. You don't do you it. Know. Let's take uh, line one first there, Sick Rick. we got Chris from Naples on the Ledge Radio Show. What's up, Chris? Hey, man. How's it going? Uh, you know, I'm just uh, wondering, you know, what about if uh, transgendered people wanna, want to uh, take care of our kids? Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh? Here we go. <laughs> That they yep. trans that ch they should go to Studio Fifty Four in New York and hang out. They don't need to take what? young boys and girls transgender. Yeah, what about the animal lovers and all them too? Yeah, that, that's that's you know what I mean. That's what I'm saying. You, you open what? up a whole Pandora's box of of yeah. just weirdos that can do anything. There's no law. There's all anarchy, moral anarchy. Just let everybody do everything and let's all have free love, have a kumbaya meeting, sit around a campfire and go play s'mores in the back of the tent. Bull crap. <laughs> Where do you draw the line, man? Right. I'm I'm feeling you, bro. You draw the line. Right. You say enough's enough, man. Smitty's feeling you. Watch out. Not happening, brother. I hear you. He's Protect the kids. Gay black Jew. All right. Thanks, Chris. Chris, I'm, I understand. You're right. Where do you draw the line? Right. I mean, you know. I got you. Let's take uh, line two, sick. Rick. We got Robert from Naples. Robert, you're on the Ledge Radio Show with J.D. and Smitty. What's up? Yeah, hi. Yeah, I was calling about the you know the public thing versus teachers and, and things like that. I have two daughters. Okay. Yeah, the difference is they're spending the night somewhere else. Right. With that, the scout leaders, or that's what makes a difference. It's correct. It's trust. If they went out for a, if they went out for a day hike, okay, but like everything else, like uh, pedophiles and stuff, you you should be aware. Okay, uh, this person's gay or this person's a sex offender. You know, at least you're aware. And then the parents make the choice. Right. That's right. So, so what you're saying then, Robert, is that you would um, you would like to know whether or not the scout master in this instance. Uh, what what their sexual uh, preference is before sending your your daughters out to the uh, out to the boys out to the Girl Scouts? Yes, because then it would be my choice looking after my daughters. It, it, it then I know okay, well you know maybe then I would volunteer to to help out just to keep an eye. But this is an overnight excursion, right? So you really can't tell what goes on after they all go to bed well or, and and, and like and you know one thing smitty said i do agree with is that it is the parents choice um and responsibility in this instance, to protect your sure. kids man you know but but also i think it comes down to knowledge or education on the subject maybe um you know the statistics we've, speak we've, for we've, themselves we've, but the, 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 the statistics don't say that every person that's gay is a sexual predator that's not we're saying no, every no, single person and, and i would i don't want to say that but that's right. in instances where something does happen the kids are too scared to even tell their parents that's, that's right true. that's true that's, uh, that, that's, that's come out a lot 
All right, uh, Robert, right. we appreciate the call, buddy. Thanks for your take on that. Well, thank you. You got it, buddy. Let's take um, one quick call, then we're going to go to break. we got uh, line one, Will from Naples. Will, you're on the Ledge Radio Show. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say you, you can't really relate uh, homosexuality to pedophilia. Because, I mean, they already they already will completely not allow any sex offenders into doing those jobs. Right, for the Boy Scouts and so forth? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. They're going I to really change that rule, though. Well, remember allow. this. Well, no, they're not going to allow sex offenders. But but well, now, that's next. but that's there next. is there is something to be said Let's for this them though. In too. But hang on. Oh, what the heck? I remember they just had a little. Remember proof this. Off. Remember okay. this. A, a registered sex offender is someone who's been caught, right? Now we don't have yeah. laws in place to there's, prevent future crime, yeah, but, and we no, don't but want there's that. There's a reason why they have those laws near the little schools. I understand. People not to live there because they're they're tempted. Right. And just because you're not caught, that's even worse. That's even worse. You're like a fox. They're predators, not homosexuals. Say right. homo predators. You can you can be you can be a hetero you can be a heterosexual Wait, predator. I'm not a, a bad. Uh, think ahead. of this. Like, think of out of how many uh, homosexual people do you think would be a predator. I don't know. One million. One out of how many? I don't know. You you, you know the statistics? I don't know. I, I don't know either. You have to protect these children no matter what. When they're 18, 19, 20 years old. Hey, Will, thanks for the call, thanks, buddy. Will. When they're old enough to, def- to defend themselves, that's their, then, you know, they're, they're sure. on their own. Let's do a little but, giveaway before we go to break. Yeah, I'm going to give a giveaway. I'm going to give the fifth caller that calls in. I'm going to give this, uh, Connors Chop House, Connors, uh, $25 gift certificate, which Connors is Steakhouse, Gulf Coast Town Center, $25. Uh, winner, winner, Connors Dinner, fifth caller calls in. 277-9600, 775-9600. We'll be right back. 96K Rock. Stan and Haney, afternoon. Hey, Mom, you I hear someone talk about yours. What's the secret ingredients? Tomato based. There's lemon juice in there. Right on. <laughs> there is some brown sugar in there. Mm-hmm. Tell me some more sugar. It's so sweet and hot and... I'm digging the song. <laughs> Stan and Haney Afternoons. 96 K Rock. Talk that rocks. Securing your family, your business, your property. That's what's important in your world. No matter how big, no matter how small, secure your world with Imperial Fire Alarm and Security today. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security is a local company with hometown service the way it should be. One call to Imperial will align you with the most effective fire alarm security and surveillance systems as well as state-of-the-art wireless monitoring. If you're a property manager or condo association member, ask about Imperial's wireless monitoring systems to replace costly and unreliable phone lines and save your community thousands from individual homes to large communities. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security can secure your world. Don't you think it's time to secure your world? Imperial Fire Alarm and Security services Lee, Charlotte, and Collier County. Learn more at imperialfiresecurity.com or to schedule your free consultation, call 239-288-6482. Secure your world at imperialfiresecurity.com. License number EF200046. Come to Duncan's Diamonds and experience our Rolex watches, treasured estate timepieces on sale. Save up to 50% on all of our men's and ladies' Rolex watches. Fort Myers, US 41, and in the Gulf Coast Town Center. The world's greatest Pink Floyd show, Brit Floyd, presents Pulse World Tour 2013. The Pink Floyd Ultimate Light and Sound Experience. Amazing note for note performances of five full Pink Floyd album size. Live at your main arena on Tuesday, April 23rd at 8 p.m. With stunning video animation, dazzling laser show, theatrics, and inflatables. An evening you'll never forget. Tickets are on sale now at Jermaine Arena's Capital Bank box office or at Ticketmaster.com. Let Duncan's Diamonds make this year an unforgettable one. Duncan's Diamonds, the highest quality diamonds and jewelry for your Valentine. With the largest selection of diamonds and diamond jewelry at unbeatable prices, Duncan's Diamonds features many designers' fashion jewelry, including Pandora, Kurt Kara, Michelle Watches, and the world's most perfectly cut diamond, Hearts on Fire. Why trust anyone else on this special day? With 90 years' experience spanning three generations, Duncan's Diamonds brings you the highest quality diamonds and 
and diamond jewelry. Beautiful diamond earrings, pendants, bracelets, bridal sets, and certified diamonds. All at the guaranteed best prices for Valentine's Day. Why pay more anywhere else? Don't wait another minute. Come in now. Duncan's Diamonds offers great financing plans and free layaway. She deserves something special this Valentine's Day. Tell her you love her the Duncan's Diamonds way. Duncan's Diamonds on US 41, one half mile south of Page Field and in the Gulf Coast Town Center. Rappaport Ace. When you want to know what the best product is, you ask an expert. So if you want to know why the Exergen Temporal Scanner Thermometer is the best for you and your family, just ask doctors and nurses why they use it at work and at home, and they'll tell you. The Exergen Temporal Scanner Thermometer gives a fast, accurate reading with just a gentle forehead scan and is backed by more than 40 published medical studies. Those all add up to peace of mind that your family is using the best and a great value for the money. Get yours today at Babies R Us, Toys R Us, and other fine retailers. Want to know where to catch the big ones? It all starts with a trip to the Fishing Tackle Outlet on US-41 in North Fort Myers. The Fishing Tackle Outlet features the lowest prices in town on Penn Battle Reels and Miro Lure, MR-17s and 14s. The Fishing Tackle Outlet not only has great prices, but also great advice from a friendly, experienced staff. Get blowout prices on fresh and saltwater combos starting at just $29.99. And the Fishing Tackle Outlet now offers fishing charters starting at just $300. Located at 18461 North Tamiami Trail, two miles north of the Shell Factory on US 41 in North Fort Myers. Look for the yellow building. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 till 7, Sunday, 10 till 6. Call 239-731-8385 or visit FishingTackleLiquidators.com. So remember, the secret to catching the big one starts at Fishing Tackle Outlet. The Ledge Radio Show with J.D. and Smitty. What the hell am I looking at? When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened to then? Past that. When? Just now. We're at now now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. When will then be now? Soon. Talking our hometown, our state, and the state of our country. It's the Ledge Radio Show on 96 K Rock. Talk that rocks. Welcome back. The phone numbers are 239-277-9600 or 775-9600. You can send us an email, JD or Smitty at theledgeradioshow.com. You can check out our live stream at theledgeradioshow.com. we got a uh, winner from the Connor Steakhouse gift certificate. It is uh, on line two. we got Dirty Sanchez. You are the winner of the Connor Steakhouse. Winner's winner, Connor's dinner. There you go. There you All go. right, now, Michael Sanchez, thanks for calling, man. You got hey, Mike, the, uh, thank you so much. got the gift certificate just uh Thanks for calling. Thanks for winning. Uh, stay on the line. Try Pat to get your information. Yes, sir. All right, take care. There you go. All right, so before we went to break, uh, we were, Sick Rick and I were berating Sp- uh, Smitty for his uh, tough right wing, left wing stance. Common on sense. Gays about and the gays the and the, and Boy, the Scouts. Boy Scouts, man. It's just a common sense approach. All right. You don't do it. And Let's I, hear it. That's just dumb. Um, I was reading a little bit about it. It says conservatives have warned of mass defections if scouting allows gay memberships to be determined by troops. Local and regional leaders, as well as the leadership of the churches that sponsor troops, will be forced to consider their own policies. And policy opponents who delivered four boxes of signatures to the BSA headquarters on Monday said they wouldn't be satisfied by only a partial acceptance of the gays and scout leaders. So they're really pushing for this thing. Yeah, there was like 1.4 million letters delivered yeah. uh, in, in um, support and, and, of... And when you hear this, you have to ask yourself, what if I'm... If, suppose I'm a gay man, right? And I'm pushing for this why would i want to be with the young boy scouts what like would, what's the agenda what's the agenda hmm. there's a million other things to do there you can go to tbl you, <laughs> you can you can go to a whole bunch of these other clubs you know you can go have some fun get guys your own age go out in the woods and play hide the pumpkin and whatever but you know what now you got these guys that are pushing to be with these young boys what is the agenda Hmm. There's got to be an ulterior motive. And, and, of course, like everybody says, well, they haven't been found guilty of any pedophile stuff, so we'll just let them do it. You know? That's and a good I can question. Remember, and I can remember early on when the priest, it was unless a no-no. It's, unless, it's just, unless the answer is as simple equality? as equality. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, 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 yeah. well, heck with the kids' you know, condition and all theirs. Right. We don't want to worry about protecting our kids. We just want to be equal. Well, it's kind of like the argument of last week with women in the military in the front lines. You know, is it is it equality that's the agenda, or is it some political correctness? Why run amok? They, why couldn't they start their own organization? You know, 
They could, I guess I guess they could. They the could. gay scouts. The gay scouts. <laughs> They're calling the masturbators. That's right. <laughs> That was from Tripod Billy. Get your pen. It'll bring a whole new meaning to the word Weeblow. Whoa! <laughs> oh, the Weeblows. Remember them? I was a member. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really no odd. No he's defending the game. Yeah, he's sitting there defending them. You got something you want to tell us? This is come clean now. Let's go. No, I, I don't want to. I, I just have a wide stance. I bet you do. <laughs> I was tapping my foot. I know. She's looking for some extra paper under the thing. Hey, hey, come over here. Come over here. But I think that it, it's a it's a big subject, and I think... Um, what Smitty's getting at is that there is this moral fabric of society that is decaying, and this may just be another piece of the fabric that's coming off. I mean, this is what I, I argue this point all the time the kids have on the cons- for a conservative agenda. The, the children that cannot defend themselves. What about have the children rights. that are gay? What about they their don't side? even know what they are. I mean, kids that are gay. I mean, you didn't even know what you were to you. You know, fourteen or fifteen, you said, "Eh, that, she looks caught." You know right. what I mean? Yeah, oh, maybe so. Unless you looked at him and said, mm, he Joe, looks Joe's looking good over there, you know? Right. Not me. So do you think that's the bigger problem here then, Smitty? Is that it, it, it's, we're seeing the, the moral decay of our society? I, I think it's all twisted up. I mean, there's no, there's no guidelines anymore. There's, like the guy called before and he said, what's next? What you were know? the guidelines? Transgender? What, what I mean, did what? the guidelines used to be based on? What were they based on? I, I would think they were just based on, uh, Morality that we're in, that we're no no pun intended inbred with, you know what I mean? That that people. But where'd that, that come from? That, that came from people teaching us what's right and wrong. Who taught and, it? Probably God. I would. Jesus say. Christ taught it. That's what I was getting at. See that? Rick? That's where the moral. The Rick that's where morality Rick's came laughing. from. I know. I we know. know Rick is not. Rick Rick's a non-believer. You know, I don't want to say he's a non-believer. He, he that, will, that's for him to say. say it loud and clear. He just has a different a different view of of certain certain items. That's all, and that's okay. Rick believes we came from a grain of sand, just blew up, and then here we're here, like a like a magic story. You know, like a big wand. Yeah, Ron Hubbard. Wow, look, Rick. I think you're being invited. You're being invited here. <laughs> well. <clears throat> I mean, as opposed to what, like some magical sky daddy wiggling his nose, like uh, I dream of genie, and all of a sudden, boom, we just appeared. That that's that's magic. Well, as as intelligent as humans are, intelligent yeah, life form. You know this this intelligent design that we have. It's it's difficult for me to believe that it it was created out of a cosmic boom. And all of the intricacies of just just surrounding the spinal Space cord. And, just, I, I'm not even worried about any of that. The the human body, living beings. How is you know? And you mentioned something earlier, Rick, about that being developed through um, mold or fungus. You know that that can grow over time. Yeah, bill- billions of years of evolution. Sure. So sure. we came from fungus, maybe. There's fungus Absolutely. among us. Absolutely. <laughs> Some of us has more fungus yeah, than others. We sure did. You know they got medicine for that. <laughs> You know, and I mean, when we talk about intelligent design and the human brain and how it works, well, why did we not invent automobiles until the 1900s? Why did we not, if, if God gave us this brain 6,000 years ago, why did we not have that same brain to build cars and computers thousands of years well, there's, ago? There's evolutions involved. I mean, there's technology doubt. obviously had to, technology had to evolve, I think. You know, I mean, I'm not an expert in this field, but I can definitely uh, bring an expert to speak on that for us. Maybe uh, State Rep. Matt Caldwell, whose father happens to be the as- assistant pastor at my church. Uh, he can Maybe he can come, come in and, and, debate with Rick. and debate with Sick Rick on uh, evolution versus... I'll take him on. Anybody, anytime. There you go. There's the challenge. Rick, you're sick. And Rick is sick, man. He's, but you know what, though? Sick but But he definitely, man, he called you out this morning, though. Whatever. Because Smitty... The anti anti gay liberal. You don't ever see that. I'm just saying protect the children. That's all I'm saying. Whether it's whether it's Obama girls, says too, protect whether the it's protect girls, the children from young the girls, or young homos. boys, protect them at all costs. There's no, they're off limits when it comes to trying to find a, a level ground to try to make it sound political or fair. They're, the only thing fair is to protect these kids. Period. That is the, that is the fair rule. Nothing goes by that. And and I would never put a kid in harm's way for any law, regulation, or rule or anything. Period. What if you've got a scout master that is a uh, he's he's a heterosexual, but he is violent. He's violent, and you don't violence know violence had a domestic abuse charge. Yeah, exactly. Or or hasn't been charged for yet, but has been domestically ab- abusive. 
I, I don't know about the domestic abuse. I'm just saying that the kids are talking about gays now. We're talking about gays, not talking about domestic violence. That's another whole horse of a different color. Well, but I'm just saying, you know, they're you, not as scary as the gays. No, it's just it's, you, don't, you don't know if he's been guilty. <laughs> they come what, you what it was. They're going to scratch your eyes out. I know people. He that, slapped his wife around. At least he's not gay. <laughs> That's right. What did she do to piss him off? <laughs> Twice. Let's so. take a call here. Line one, uh, Robert from Naples. Robert, you're on the Ledge Radio Show. Yeah. Hey. You know, evolution, you know, as far as cars and stuff like that, for a long time, it took a long time to find out how to use the metals they were, you know, digging out. So it took a while to get that. That's but true. as far as, you know, homosexuality, lesbian, or pedophiles, people normally always kept that in the closet. Just like, uh. The preachers. Uh, well, you know why, it's though? Like the you know why? You know why, though, right? Because they didn't want to be right. stoned to death. That's why. Right, but now it, it was like, you know, people have orgies in their house or they got an their address? own little party. Oh. But <laughs> it was always kept in a closet. Now everything's coming out like sure. crazy. Right, and one other thing and that Smitty said er and one other thing that Smitty said earlier was that homosexuality is like a new thing. Well, there's references to it in the Bible, which was written when I said new thing. Years when ago. I said new thing, he, I I want to clarify that, Rick, so you can understand. Like he said, back in the day it was hell, it was hush hush. It was kept quiet. So but was... it was there. It existed. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it was right or moral. And it, just because it's coming out of the closet, no pun intended, I remember when preachers were, were thought of being the, the godly souls. Now we're finding out they were horrible in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Hey, Robert, thanks for the call, buddy. Thanks, Robert. Robert gets a heartbreak. You, got, you have the Roman, uh, you have the Greeks that, uh, are you there? Yeah, oh, we're here, buddy. Caliglia, yeah. And, you know, you have the, the, the Greeks that, you know, they, they train with men and so on. They have their studies. And... They were gained. That's what brought the army together because you didn't want your lover to be killed, so you fought harder. Man. Nice. Uh, it, it, it was society. Did they cross swords? The way it is. <laughs> All right, Robert. But thanks for thanks for the call, buddy. We got we got to go. We're up against a hard break, my friend. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Thanks thanks for listening. What do we got left here, Sick Rick? Just a few seconds. Yeah. All right. Let's. Um. Any callers on hold? If you want to stay on yeah, there, hang on, just, man. Just I hear what stay you on say. through the break. We're going to uh, end this hour. We'll be back for the second hour in just a few moments. 277-9600 or 775-9600. Give us a call. 96K Rock supports Southwest Florida's bikers with the Biker Map. Hey, this is Chris from the Biker Map. The Biker Map is in over 500 locations, and if you can't find it, just go to thebikermap.com. The Biker Map. Grab a copy by stopping by K Rock Broadcasts and always at the K Rock Studios in Estero. I just want to say thank you to Southwest Florida and all the advertisers for supporting all the motorcycle riders out there. The Biker Map. And be sure to be on the lookout for the all new The Boater Map from 96K Rock and 96krock.com. Securing your family, your business, your property. That's what's important in your world. No matter how big, no matter how small, secure your world with Imperial Fire Alarm and Security today. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security is a local company with hometown service the way it should be. One call to Imperial will align you with the most effective fire alarm security and surveillance systems as well as state-of-the-art wireless monitoring. If you're a property manager or condo association member, ask about Imperial's wireless monitoring systems to replace costly and unreliable phone lines and save your community thousands from individual homes to large communities. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security can secure your world. Don't you think it's time to secure your world? Imperial Fire Alarm and Security services lead Charlotte and Collier County. Learn more at imperialfiresecurity.com or to schedule your free consultation, call 239-288-6482. Secure your world at imperialfiresecurity.com. License number EF200046. Honey, we need to talk. Oh, what's wrong now? Well, you know you tried to fix the roof last week, and now our AC is broken again. Well, what are you talking about? I fixed that AC a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Fixing stuff is not your expertise. That's why I called Western Reserve Roofing and AC. Their skilled techs can fix a problem or give us a written estimate for repair. Western Reserve services all of Southwest Florida. In Florida, nothing takes more of a beating than your roof and AC system. Western Reserve offers sales, service, and installation for commercial and residential projects. Don't wait till it's too late. Call Western Reserve now at 239-687-6084. 239-687-6084. They guarantee all their work at the best price possible. Hey, hey honey, what is my expertise? Well, we'll talk. 
But now take out the trash, all right? Call Western Reserve now at 239-687-6084 and let them fix it right the first time. Roof license number CCC 132-805 and AC license number CAC 022-422. Sometimes you just never know what you don't know. Did you know that in some bankruptcy cases, when you have more than one mortgage or line of credit on your property, it may be possible to get rid of that second mortgage. If you're successful, you never have to pay that loan again. Hey, I'm a spokes guy, not a lawyer but a free consultation might make all the difference. Call the law office of Bob Tardiff in Fort Myers, 239-362-2755, or visit BankruptcyBodyguard.com. Find out just what you don't know. Wow. Want to talk about ball games? What a ball game that was last Sunday, huh, folks? That was incredible. I'll tell you something. I was there with my son sitting in the Superdome there, and I, uh, what, what, I tell you, when Beyonce, what a performance she put on. It was unbelievable. What a day. I tell you, every day I think it's my favorite uh, weekend of the year. You know, we were closed at Facillo Kia, give everybody time to spend with their families, and uh, football, my favorite uh, sport in all the world. It was incredible. Great father and son weekend, as my son and I try to do every year. And uh, But it's back to work now. It's back to work. You know, with over 600 Kias available right here at the number one Kia store in all the world, right here in southwest Florida for your shopping convenience. That's what I'm talking about. It's real easy to go online right now at huge... KiaCredit.com, huge KiaCredit.com. You can apply for credit. I'm here the whole month myself. I'm working the banks, and I'll tell you something, Southwest Florida, the inventory is huge. The discounts are huge. Everything here at Vasilo Kia is huge. This is it. The absolute final days of Sutherland Nissan's giant Clear the Lot expansion sale. With truckload after truckload of new inventory arriving daily, everything on the lot must go. Right now, excuse our dust and choose from 500 new Nissan Sentras, Ultimas, Maximas, Frontiers, Versus, Muranos, Titans, and more. Mark down to move. With final expansion discounts and savings up to $11,000 off MSRP. Be the first to drive the all-new redesigned 2013 Ultima, Sentra, and Pathfinder. All in stock and ready for immediate on-the-spot delivery. Plus, every new Nissan sold is backed by Sutherland's signature lifetime warranty. For big Nissan selection and savings, it's the absolute final days of Sutherland Nissan's giant clear-the-lot expansion sale. In-store or online at NissanSales.com. And remember, if it doesn't say Sutherland, you pay too much. Order more this plus example, Tony Corona, model number 266 number 6159. Vehicle subject to fire sale. The world's greatest Pink Floyd show, Brit Floyd, presents Pulse World Tour 2013. The Pink Floyd Ultimate Light and Sound Experience. Amazing note-for-note -note performances of five full Pink Floyd album sides. Live at Jermaine Arena on Tuesday, April 23rd at 8 p.m. With stunning video animation, dazzling laser show, theatrics, and inflatables. An evening you'll never forget. Tickets are on sale now at Jermaine Arena's Capital Bank box office or at Ticketmaster.com. From the huge studios, WRXK, Bonita Springs, Naples, Fort Myers, a Beasley Broadcast Group station, 96K Rock and 96KRock.com. Talk that rocks. The Ledge Radio Show with JD and Smitty. You know, some people have no willpower, no brains, no vision. They just drift through life like lots of crap. What is she talking about? Now back to the Ledge Radio Show with JD and Smitty on 96K Rock. Welcome to the second hour. Phone lines are open 277 9600 or for the viewers around the world and in West Virginia watching live streaming video on the Ledge Cam 239 775 9600. You can visit our website and blog at theledgeradioshow.com or find us on Facebook. Take a call. Well, look, we're going to get to the call, but uh, first I want to say the second hour is brought to you by Western Reserve Roofing and AC. They are state licensed, bonded, and insured for all your residential and commercial needs with over 20 years of experience. Western Reserve takes care of their clients one at a time. Visit their website, westernreserveroofing.com, for more details. Call 239-687-6084 or email info at Western Roofing, westernreserveroofing.com to schedule an appointment today. That's 687-6084. Air conditioning and roofing. That's right. And before we went to break, we were talking about the Boy Scouts um, getting ready to vote to whether or not they're going to uh, allow or or disallow the gays. openly gays uh, gay folks in the in the Boy Scouts, whether it be scout leaders or uh, memberships themselves, members themselves, and we've got a caller that's been holding through the break line two. We got Mike from the Cape. Mike, you're on the Ledge Radio Show. What's up, buddy? Hey, how you guys doing this morning? Good man. What can we do for you? Uh, I just want to say I, I say no gays in the Boy Scouts. 
Okay. My man. It's may, maybe the Girl Scouts. <laughs> That's uh, it. There That's what, hey, there's no problem with that. See, no Smitty has no problem with lesbians. No, no problem not, at all. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> um, that, to me, it's the gays in the uh, in the Boy Scouts. That's about as creepy as a little league or a soccer coach that doesn't have a kid. Um, ah, that's that's okay. I see where you're going with that. Sure, yeah. Why, why would you be coaching little league without a kid? Yeah. Said, the, the, right, and does a gay guy have kids? Is kids in the in the scouts, or are they just going for ulterior motive? As Smitty said, I don't know. That's right. It's <laughs> a good point. That's right. Why would you well, even want to put yourself in a position like that if you know that's what you're attracted to? That's all. It's a stereotypes are here, and it's not our fault. All right. So. That's, that's like having JD run the the Girl Scout cookies over there. He'd be all over it. Yeah, you don't Absolutely. want that. You guys have a good day. All right, All right. thanks a lot, Mike. I got I got to read this. All right, please, talking about some, please don't. We're talking about sexual activity. A man was arrested for having sex with his sofa in the street. A man has been arrested in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Well, there's the problem. After an off-duty police Waukesha. officer called, thank you, caught him having sex with his abandoned sofa. <laughs> According to the misdemeanor report obtained by the smoking gun, cop Ryan Edwards said he spotted Jared Streeter, S T R E A T O R. He was a streaker. Streaker, yeah. Mm. 46, leaning over the couch and thrusting his pelvic area against the cushions and trying to sexually gratify himself by rubbing his mm 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 nanu nanu between the cushions. That is. Okay. That is not a good. Why do you when, just describe the when, whole incident? When, <laughs> that is not even nice. <laughs> when challenged by Officer Edwards, Streeter un- unsurprisingly ran away, but was later caught and charged. With his pants down? And charged, <laughs> charged, charged in the hotel where he works. <laughs> that must have been a tad embarrassing, you think? Oh my! But then again, if you're the so kind how of person does the story who, follow? But if, but if you're the kind of person that boinks furniture in the street. I guess it's not so embarrassing, you know. You think he'll be allowed in the Boy he Scouts? Could, he could face up to... Yeah, would you let that guy take your Boy well, Scouts? Well, I don't think he'd have any problems. He's, he's got an infatuation with furniture. Problems. I'd take him over to gay. <laughs> you take anything. <laughs> anyway, Streeter could face a nine-month jail sentence and a $7,000 fine. He also presumably, presumably have to, has to work hard back to win his trust of his friends and family. Now, if he worked out an upholstery place, would you bring your couch there, or would you not be comfortable with that? I'd be, I'd be afraid picking it up. That's because my, my sofa... pick it up with a black light. My, my sofa would have a big sad face on it. <laughs> Use a black light That's to pick right. it up. Bring your black light. Make sure there's no schmears. You know? <laughs> anyway... So is that is that our is that your segue? You couldn't even out of leave this Boy guy Scouts? in the in the living room if you went to go get a beer. He'd be on your sofa. You know That's what true. I mean? You come back. What are you doing to my sofa, man? Very true. What are you doing? All right, listen. I got to I got to switch gears, man. We, we, we've talked about the Boy Scouts for, and uh, you know, an hour, and we know where you stand. That's right, you do. And uh, you don't know where I stand, so I know you, that's good. I know we know stand. where Sick Rick stands. We're pretty pretty sure All right. he wants to join up. He's got some things yeah, to teach the Boy Scouts. No, Boy no Scout. God, full That's of right. gays. One big, one big gay troop. Yeah. He's happy. <laughs> okay. All right, Sick Rick, I want to play. I got an audio I want to play. It's uh, cut one. Now, for weeks and weeks and weeks now, we've had the same issue continuing to spur up around the country with gun control. Again? It's still, it's still been going on. This is a cut. This is an audio clip of a father of one of the, of a student at Sandy Hook Elementary School and he's in front of the of the legislators giving his take on whether or not he whether or not he thinks gun control should be enacted. Let's play uh you are cut killing one gun break. control. My name is Bill Stevens. I live in Newtown. My 5th grade daughter was in lockdown on December 14, 2012. Unfortunately, her classmate's little sister was murdered in Sandy Hook that day when lockdown and 911 weren't enough to protect her from an evil person. Not protect her from an assault rifle or some type of inanimate object, but from an evil person. Quite different from the elaborate security you all enjoy here at the Capitol. It was fun getting frisks on the way in. I'm not here to cite crime statistics lives saved with a gun or the economic impact of the proposed asinine legislation, some of these gun control bills you have proposed. I will, however, read from the Connecticut State Constitution, 
Section 15 reads very clearly, we all know what the Second Amendment says, but Section 15 in the state constitution says very clearly, every citizen has a right to bear arms in defense of himself and the state. There's no registration, there's no permitting, there's no background checks. It's quite clear. I'm frankly shocked by some of the testimony today. In case some here failed American history, there is something called the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and a process by which to amend it. The same goes for the state constitution. These rights are inalienable and endowed by our creator, not you politicians, to all citizens regardless of gender, race, or creed. In order to limit the rights of individuals, there is something called due process, and legislation is gay. not due process. <laughs> you want to take my rights away? Let's go to court. And with regards to the due process, the final report with all the facts on Sandy Hook will not likely be issued until this summer, it was stated clearly in the newspapers. How can any legislation be passed in good faith or good conscience without all the facts? Again, gun ownership is a constitutional right, but it's not for everyone. That's okay. And shouldn't make gun owners suspects, regardless of how many guns they have or how much ammunition they may have. My guns are not dangerous. They are at home, locked up, collecting dust and cat hair. <laughs> but criminals and tyrants, tyrants especially, beware. Lockdown is not an option at the Stevens residence. And 911 will be dialed after the security of my home has been established. Why is that same security my daughter enjoys at home with her dad not available at school in Newtown? That is what you should be considering, not making her dad a criminal. Charlton Heston made the phrase, from my cold dead hands, famous. And I will tell you here today, you will take my ability to protect my Victoria from my cold dead hands. There you have it. Again? And, and, well, I think that's a sentiment that a lot of Americans, um, a lot of Americans have. That's, that's the way a lot of us feel. And unfortunately, I mean, why do you think this gentleman has to defend his, his Second Amendment right? Why do you think he feels that it necessary to do that and he's got a child at that school where the um, a murderer just killed all those kids why would he say that if he didn't think that there was a threat against his right to own, own a weapon you have any anything on that I just you know the, the second amendment thing you keep you keep ringing it bell have you not seen it every bell, single day on the, bell, on the national media and nobody is taking your second amendment rights away you keep on trying to drum that support up and it's not there the majority of people want some kind of gun control. They want some kind of regulations. They want to do something. They're not taking guns from well, people. Well, let, at their let, home. let me clarify They're that. They're trying to protect kids. Let me let me clarify that. Gun confiscation bill proposed in California says we can save lives. They are wanting to confiscate your weapons. That's one. In, that's another reason not to live in California. They've got a bill now proposed in he, California to re- confiscate all yeah. semi-automatic of course, rifles. Of course, all. of course, they're going to have that. They have a lot of bills in California that are wacky. Yeah, and if they get approved, they're not, they're not going to get approved. It, well, in California, won't be approved. You don't think it will in no, California? Never, never. You don't think the feds everything are, wrong comes out of California? It, it's pretty wacky out there. I, I agree. And I when California that. does it, then you got uh, then you got states in the Northeast to follow. Never happen. Even if it goes to the Supreme Court, they're going to throw it out. They're going to say the Second Amendment is the Second Amendment. You cannot do that. So you know. Well, who would have thought the Supreme Court would have sided with the, with Obama, saying that that what that the for Americans the, for, want for the, the right to live and breathe? Right. You have to buy health care. That's right. You, you have who, to who buy health thought, insurance. Who would have thought that the Supreme Court would have said you're an American citizen and we deserve to take care of you because you're an American citizen? And if you don't have health care, we're not going to let you die in the street like a third world country and just fall down dead and go, oh well, you didn't have money. So that's right. They did the right thing, the health care. Uh, they did the right thing. Oh, well, let me just say something about that then. Uh, as far as that health care goes, mm-hmm. um, did you know that the IRS just came out with their report on that? That it's going to cost for the bronze plan for Obamacare, which is the cheapest policy you can get under Obamacare, it will cost $20,000 per individual yeah. to purchase insurance through Obamacare. It's $20,000 a year. We'll that's see. the bron- that's the IRS who who runs well, we know Obamacare. How, we, we know how 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 they work. They they're all about upping numbers anyhow. You mean the IRS? Yeah. It's never They're never, the ones that are charged with enforcing never, Obamacare. I, I I believe it when I see it. I know Here it is. I know I believe it when when I have to go get it and I go okay how much is it and they go $20,000. So you're seeing the report it. from the IRS telling you it's going to and you still don't believe it. I don't believe the report. You're, that you're the same guy with his head in the nope, sand don't believe about it. the second amendment. And they're 20 $20,000. That's crazy. 
Well, I can't help you. I can't help can. people that don't want to help themselves. I know. I know. You believe everything you read. Let's take a call real quick. Uh, line one, we got Andy on line one. Andy on the Les Radio Show. Yeah, uh, somebody was saying that, you know, the, the majority of, of people has been shown to be, you know, favor some kind of gun control. And I've seen the surveys out there where they say 60% and, and up of people favor these gun control measures. But, you know, I want to know where these people are that favor these gun control measures. I hang out with a real diverse group of people you know, both politically and, you know, racially and all that. And not one person that I know and I talk to is in favor of these gun control measures. So where are all these people that are in favor of, of these gun control you know, you know measures? Where, they, where are they surveying? You know, where are they taking these surveys? You know no, where they, no, you know where they are, Andy? Point where they're, in, they're in Chicago, well, where they got 526 <laughs> deaths you know, from guns last year. It's the same exactly. idiots that live and breathe under the government's control. They want gun control, yet that's what they've got there, and there's, and there's no safety there. There's no way to defend yourself because they don't allow guns in the city of Chicago, yet they have 526 murders by gun last year. Maybe it's the same yeah, people. I don't know. I don't understand it. It's like, it's like the, uh, the war on drugs. I mean, you know what I mean? The, the war on guns, the war on drugs, it's not working. When no. are we going to try something different? I know? agree, man. Well, I, don't I agree. Know, I don't know where. Hey, and you know what? As always, F. Smitty. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Know, I don't know where they're taking the survey, but you've seen them too. And the survey does state that most people are in favor of some kind of control, not taking your Second Amendment rights. So I, I, I don't know where they're taking them, but maybe the same people that were polling that said Romney was going to run away with the election. I don't know. Carl Rove. Yeah, Carl Rove, which he's back on CNN. And Dick Morris, uh, and who Dick got Morris, kicked off got, of Fox got, News got, for being got, wrong. He got kicked off Fox. He was so wrong. And I, and I said, I said, he is totally discredited. Totally yeah, discredited. He got fired. He, he got well, fired. They just didn't renew his contract. And Rove, Rove got his, his, his GPS now, it's called, uh, his conservative group GPS. He's trying to rev it up and get new money again for the next run. Right. He's just, he's just a, a charlatan. Let's take a is. call real quick. Uh, line two. We got your buddy Kenny again from West Virginia, man. He's a hard time listener up there. What's up, Kenny? What's up, West Virginia? <laughs> Thanks, guys. I just want to say that, you know, the bond plan in reference to that, how much does one, you know, bomb cost to make? You know, I bet it's like crazy money, you know? Right. One plane probably costs, one jet probably costs $100 million, or, you know, crazy numbers. Some of them are more than that. Some of your stealth bombers right. are like $1.6 billion. So, Right. So what I'm saying is $20,000 is a lot of money to a regular working Joe, but, sure. you know, to save someone's life or to give someone the security to know that they can go somewhere when they're sick and they will be taken care of, it doesn't seem like a lot of money when you look at how much money. Hang on, Kenny. Waste. Hang on, Kenny. Do you think the average middle class American family can afford twenty thousand dollars a piece for insurance per year? No, I agree with you. I don't think so with that. I mean, I mean, think about this. Think about. It. I own a small business, so I got the crappiest health insurance you can get because it's a small business, and my family right. pays almost eight thousand dollars a year in, in insurance. To get the crappiest plan you can get, and it's it's every bit of our dollar every month to pay that insurance plan. Now we're talking about if you go under Obamacare, twenty thousand dollars a year, almost three times what I pay now just to have insurance. That is, I mean, but you got a point. I mean, you both you know got a point there. It's a huge topic and argument. And, and as far as far as what the jets cost, we just the Obama just just uh, sold jets to the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. We just sent them over 26 jets to, f to fight against our ally. You, why would we sell I'll the Muslim Brotherhood got, jets in Egypt? Thanks for calling, Kenny. Uh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I, I'll tell you why he sold them. Uh, because he is no. not for Israel? No, not okay. at all. I'm going to tell you why he sold them. Okay. He sold them because if he didn't sell them, uh -huh. then China and Russia would. Good. You, Let you, them sell it. So, so, why would so, we support our own enemies? Because now they're dependent upon us to give them their parts and everything else. You have to do it. If you don't do it, somebody will. And then they're in bed with the Russians, the Chinese. The and Af with Af all Afghanistan the was already fighting wars. We have wars. to keep friends with them. We have to. I know it's. They're just, not your friends if well, you're selling your enemies your weapons. You have to sell them. You have Instead no of choice. selling it to them, how you would you drop a bomb on them? No choice. Don't sell them our weapons. Drop you a bomb have, on them. Okay. Yeah. Drop a bomb on them. Okay. Drop a bomb. Drop a bomb. <laughs> drop a bomb. 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 Hey, listen. Before we uh, go to break, let me uh, give a little shout out to a friend of ours. Sure. We got the uh, Joe Ribbon Cutting Celebration, the Jump On Express, and he's not even gay. N Joe's not, not even gay. Not even going to go there. Not even going to go there. We're not even going there. <laughs> no this is a serious no. issue. It is a serious issue. Jump on Express. Stop on Fifth Avenue uh, and Sixth Street uh, on February fourteenth. It's Valentine's Day at four p.m. They got the Naples uh, Naples Love Joe ribbon cutting celebration, um, can, and you can continue the celebration at Barbatella. Uh, Ocetra and burned by Rocky Patel. Get yep. your Valentine from Joe. Get your groove from the on, ribbon man. cutting, uh, or by writing Joe on uh, February fourteenth. 
Uh, show it to the participating affiliates to redeem offers exclusive to Friends of Joe. There you go. Joe runs Thursday through Saturday, 5 p.m. to 1 a.m., connecting Mercado with Fifth Avenue and Third Street. Great, great opportunity to park your vehicle, let them drive you around town. Network with some people? Sure, you could. You could. And it, the best thing is you're letting someone else do the hard work for you. You get to enjoy yourself, enjoy your evening. I mean, think about it. You park your car at 4.30, you get on the Joe, and, and you're able to ride all through all through Naples on, on, on their dime. Meet some people. It's a free ride. Who knows? Yep, there you go. All right, um, when we get back from break, we're gonna, let's, we're gonna discuss this cop killer out in LA. That's a big, uh, big topic. So let's, let's, let's get into that when we get back from break. 277-9600, 775-9600. We'll be right back. Weekends. Picture me. Tiny bikini, straps undone, ice cold beer in hand, and blaring the best damn classic rock, period. Every weekend on 96K Rock, we shut up and rock. Led Zeppelin, ACDC, ZZ Tom, Leonard Skinner, Aerosmith, GNR, Bon Jovi. If it makes my ass shake and makes my beer taste better, we play it. All attitude, all the time. 96K Rock Weekends Rock. Securing your family, your business, your property. That's what's important in your world. No matter how big, no matter how small, secure your world with Imperial Fire Alarm and Security today. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security is a local company with hometown service the way it should be. One call to Imperial will align you with the most effective fire alarm security and surveillance systems as well as state-of-the-art wireless monitoring. If you're a property manager or condo association member, ask about Imperial's wireless monitoring systems to replace costly and unreliable phone lines and save your community thousands from individual homes to large communities. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security can secure your world. Don't you think it's time to secure your world? Imperial Fire Alarm and Security services leave Charlotte and Collier counties. Learn more at imperialfiresecurity.com or to schedule your free consultation, call 239-288-6482. Secure your world at imperialfiresecurity.com. License number EF200046. It's gun show time at Suncoast Gun Shows presents the giant Fort Myers Gun Show this Saturday and Sunday, February 9th and 10th at Lee Civic Center. It's your best chance ever to see and to save on over 400 tables filled with everything from the world of shooting, like rifles of all kinds for targets and hunting. See the latest in handguns from all the major manufacturers, which are all perfect for self and home defense, along with shotguns for trap and ski ammunition of almost every caliber, black powder gear, a wide variety of holsters, carry cases and bags, tons of accessories, telescope sights, laser sighting equipment, hard to find books, magazines, specialty items, and a wide variety of valuable collectibles. Again, you'll only find it at the giant Fort Myers Gun Show this Saturday and Sunday at the Lee Civic Center. You'll also enjoy an excellent selection of beautiful knives from pocket to bowie all at special gun show prices plus concealed weapon permit classes will be held all weekend long don't miss the special deals at the giant Fort Myers gun show this Saturday and Sunday Lee Civic Center Miramar Outlets is the place to shop dine and play with over 140 top designer brand name outlets with savings up to 70% off join us this Saturday in the Mundo Fox Playland for Valentine Day cookie decorating from 1 to 3 p.m. while supplies last dig up great prizes during Miramar Outlets Diamond Dig on Sunday from 1 till 3. Selected participants will dig for prizes, including designer handbags, makeovers, dinner and a show, a mint topaz, and much more. Enter now for your chance to dig at these participating stores. Ultra Diamonds, DKNY, Neiman Marcus Last Call, and Bailey Banks and Biddle. Miramar Outlets features live entertainment throughout the mall every Saturday from 1 to 7 p.m. and every Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. Enjoy the cool sounds of talented musicians and don't miss the green market every Sunday starting at 10 a.m. Visit MiramarOutlets.com for more information. Great names, great savings, and great entertainment at Miramar Outlets. Exit 123 off I-75 in Estero between Naples and Fort Myers. Want to know where to catch the big ones? It all starts with a trip to the Fishing Tackle Outlet on US-41 in North Fort Myers. The Fishing Tackle Outlet features the lowest prices in town on Penn Battle Reels and Miro Lure, MR-17s and 14s. The Fishing Tackle Outlet not only has great prices, but also great advice from a friendly, experienced staff. Get blowout prices on fresh and saltwater combos starting at just $29.99. And the Fishing Tackle Outlet now offers 
offers fishing charters starting at just $300. Located at 18461 North Tamiami Trail, two miles north of the Shell Factory on US 41 in North Fort Myers. Look for the yellow building. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 till 7, Sunday, 10 till 6. Call 239-731-8385 or visit FishingTackleLiquidators.com. So remember, the secret to catching the big one starts at Fishing Tackle Outlet. The Ledge Radio Show with J.D. and Smitty. Part of the story I don't like is that the little boy gave up looking for Happy after an hour. He didn't put posters up or anything. He just sat on the porch like a goon and waited. That little boy's got to think, you got a pet. You got a responsibility. If your dog is lost, you don't look for an hour and then call it quits. You get your ass out there and you find that <laughs> dog. Now back to the Ledge Radio Show with J.D. and Smitty on 96K Rock. Welcome back, 239-277-9600 or 775-9600. You can email us at JD or Smitty at theledgeradioshow.com. You can check out our live stream at theledgeradioshow.com. Smitty, uh, before we went to break, um, you know, I mentioned we're going to be talking about that cop killer out in L.A. It's and I know you've got, you've got a little backstory on this guy. Well, the, I mean, I know he's former Navy. He is, and what authorities are calling Chris, I guess his name is Dorner's campaign of guerrilla warfare against the former comrades there. Uh, back in July of 2007, the former Navy officer uh, was an LAPD probationary officer riding patrol with a veteran of the force when they were dispatched to check out a report of the disturbance at the Doubletree Hotel. The man had refused to leave the premises and was sitting on the bench outside the lobby when they arrived. The guy's name was Christopher Gettler. He had a glazed look in his eyes, court documents later recounted, and he refused to get up and speak with the police. Donor and his training officer, Teresa Evans, started to take him into custody, but, ref but he refused to comply and took a swing at them. Gettler's family later told investigators that he had a history of mental illness. A Dorner wrestled him to the ground, and the two tumbled into the planter in front of the double tree. Evans readied her taser and warned the man to stop. He stumbled only a few steps, and she shocked him with the electric device, that, but that's where the story starts to differ. Now, long story short, he was brought up on, I guess, some kind of charges, and he... He actually um, has a, had a formal complaint against the, the officers in 2007, and um, they, they finally um, they cleared him, but they said recommended that he was be dismissed. So he was really this is the beginning of why he's on this rampage. He had a, a grudge to settle against the LA against the LAPD. LAPD, and he was just looking. Because I mean, I guess in his mind, and we obviously we haven't talked to him. He thought he was doing the right thing, right. And he, and taking he, this guy down, and yet then he gets suspended, and and they, you know they want to get rid of him for it. And he said, in a, it's in quotes, the attacks will stop when the department states the truth about my innocence. So he's um he, he's he's on a rampage, as everybody knows. He's killed one of the uh, chief's daughters, I think it was. And um, I don't know how you're going to stop a guy that you've trained. And um, now well, he's I mean, up in yeah. the mountains. Yeah, and you know what's what's weird about it? He's he's killed. He ambushed a couple officers. Yes. He killed. He killed. Uh, uh, like you said, uh, the, maybe a daughter or or the and the son mm -hmm. um, of one of the. Uh, it was it was it was somebody actually that represented him uh, earlier on in that case. So he's definitely got a grudge. I mean, I picture this guy. Now you see him. He doesn't look. He doesn't look the type. He's not like the Rambo look. You know, he's like, like six one two seventy. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. Yeah, big heavy set guy. But man, he's um, they they they're tracking him up into the mountains right he's now. He's up in Big Bear Lake. They're tr they're going house to house, home to home. Yep. He's got all kind of training, survivalist training. Um, so he, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with if they ever come across him. Um, I can't see this ending any way but him getting shot and killed. Well, uh, or, killing, or killing himself. Yeah, that's absolutely what's going to happen. I mean, and what's weird about this is he's actually got a fan base. Mm. There are because there's people that hate the LAPD. Well, there's a people that a lot of people don't like the police in general. Well, especially I'm not, not just the LAPD. LAPD. I'm just talking about in general the police that people don't like. Well, the there's cops. people on Twitter that are referring to him as a as an American hero and and a dark knight. Um, you got people you know, tweeting about him. Chris Dorner's an American hero. Um, you know, Chris Dorner's my hero. If you don't know who that is, do your research. Um, all kinds of finally someone trying to change the corrupt LAPD. Yes. I mean, I hope these people don't think that this is going to change the LAPD other than killing a few of them. No. I mean, this is... Um, but, there, you know, if it, we've had Mike Scott in here. We've had um, Kevin Rambosk in here. We've had them all in here. And if th they can't say this, but if you were to ask them off camera, hey, how much percentage of your force would you like to get rid of because they're just undesirables? They're derelicts, they're out of control, and they're people that you don't even want on your force. 
I, I bet you they would say probably 10 to 15 percent. You think that many? I think so. And I, but they can. I mean, and I understand they're they have to play the political thing, and they'll say, well, they're the, you know, the guys out there are serving the public, and they're worried about safety, and and they'll go through the whole protocol and say the political thing and they'll do all that but i bet you off camera if once you're sitting around with them having a couple beers to say what about your force they probably say yeah there's 10 percent at least that i would just get rid of they're they're, they're out of control yeah you know? i mean there he's even got people that are saying that uh that they're calling him a folk hero for exposing yeah they're, they're saying expose this is one of the exact quotes exposing the pig sad that the only way he was noticed was by his murdering innocent people mm. and that is something i mean that's and I think what they're referring to is the is the the captain's um, you know, daughter, yes, you know, his relatives. Yes. And he took a shot at the two. Um, um, when the other people were shot, they were trying to track him down, and they shot the two. Well, ladies. the LAPD shot yeah. two ladies, two thinking ladies they were the going after him. Right. And shot one of them in the back and one of them in the hand uh, inside a vehicle. Right. I mean, LAPD's got a long list history. of a long history of, of discrepancies. Oh man, bad, bad, bad. People think that just you know. Sheriff's departments around here, like, you know, they got some issues with them. And it doesn't hold a candle to places like LAPD. I mean, you well, have Rodney King and we, the L.A. riots and all kinds of you, stuff. You and I had lunch yesterday. I won't mention the man. I won't mention who he is. I won't mention yep. where, where he works. You can tell a story, though. But I will story. tell the story. All right. the, the, the gentleman, we, we, he's, um, I would say, if not owner, of a manager of, of a store, a place. Okay. And he's a very clean-cut guy, very young guy. He's what? What, what is he about? Uh, 30, 35, 40? Somewhere in there, thirty-five okay. to forty. He has a bunch. He had some kids. He said daughters. Daughters. He, daughters. he said a couple years ago, about two, three years ago, he went down to Red, White, and Boom in Cape Coral, and he was there. And their business was actually sponsoring the event. Right. And so he was told to park in a certain area, and he parked. And it was his VIP it was pass. VIP pass. And when he got there. Um, one of the officers kind of addressed him and, and said, what are you doing? And so you're parking the wrong right, spot. He gave him an altercation occurred. And he had his children with him. They were very young. He's like yeah. five and seven or something like that, he was saying. Yeah, little kids. And he said, and he said, well, look, I'm just, you know, in parking here. And they gave him a hard time. Right. Let's clarify. This was the Cape Coral Police yeah, this Department. Yeah, Cape Coral. This is his story. I'm just being a third party. And you were there, so yep. you can justify if I say anything wrong. And so the guy was said he, he had an altercation. And at that point. Well, well what happened was that the security officer. Yes. Told him to to go. You need to you need to not be in here. You got to climb your that, car. You got to climb, climb that fence. fence. And it was a six foot fence. He says, "Look, I can climb it, but my four and five year old daughters can't climb the fence." Right. The security guard got belligerent. And said, "You you better climb he said, it or you else." You have a problem. And yeah. then the guy that behind him, the other officer, came up and said, "No, you got a problem." And then they started all had an altercation. At that point, he was tased. Yes. He was tased. Tased, taken into custody. Taken into custody, drug home. He sa and he says, what about my daughters? And they said, don't Go you worry. That's the last thing you need to worry about. Yeah. He's and there with his kids by himself. By himself. Some lady actually has to Take ste his steps out of the crowd. God you know, bless not, her. Not God a homo her. pedophile. No, no. And, uh... You know, takes the daughters and gets them to safety. Right. This guy goes through like a two-year court battle. He couldn't find a lawyer, he said, in Naples or Fort Myers to take his case. Had to get one from Had the East Coast. Had to go to the East Coast to get a lawyer to take his case. Because nobody wanted to go against the... Cape this Coral officer, PD. Cape Coral, yep. and then turned around and he had to sue him, and he said he finally settled out of court for like twenty five thousand yeah. dollars. But what was funny about not not funny, what's disturbing about it is that the Crazy. officer involved had some type of a uh, uh, issue with uh, he had a re remember he was telling us that the officer involved was like part of some kind of scam. Uh, whether it was, uh, you know, getting yeah. getting raises because of his uh, was, educational background was a lie. It was something like it was a couple. Turned out that like him and the and the supervisor both had been let go, you know, since then because of altercations within the department where they were not on the up and up. That's right. So and if you want to see how it's handled, go to um, yeah. YouTube and look up Lee County's finest with, with Smitty. <laughs> go, yeah, and, look and, up and, Lee uh, County's finest with Smitty. Yeah, and go take a look at it on YouTube. That's how you handle an arrest. Yeah, and 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 to be fair for Smitty, that you know that's that's a different department. And they handled it professionally, and Smitty just happened to be there to capture it. And the there. best part of that is when drunk Smitty is narrating <laughs> this, tired, this whole okay? event. okay? I have to work 15 <laughs> hours a day for a slave driver like you. So YouTube and go to Lee County's Finest with Smitty, and you will find it'll be the top one that pops up. I don't up. even drink. No, I hear you. All right, uh, we got your buddy on the line. We got uh, Pete from St. Pete on line one. Pete, you're on the Ledge Radio Hello. Show. Pete! Yes, this is Pete, yes. We know. What's up, buddy? Well, I used to live in Los Angeles, uh, and I can tell you, uh, they're getting what they deserve. You know, it's not the way to do it, but, you know, you can't, you can't really, uh, 
SHIT on people all the time and not get some payback. So you think that's you know? what it is? Oh, I know it is. I I had an incident with them, and I, I, I had to uh, practically sue them. And uh, I criticized them. I wrote a letter, you know, me, my big mouth. I wrote a letter to the L.A. Times, which they published, about the LAPD shooting and killing a, uh, a nude man. The man had no clothes on. And, uh, was this a friend know, of yours? It was unnecessary. Uh, unnecessary, you know. It was, the guy had no weapon. Was he with a sofa? So anyway, was he a member um, of the Boy Scouts? Don't ever, don't ever, don't ever criticize them because they, uh, they, they get payback on me, or they try to anyway. Sure. So you had a bad run in with the LAPD, and, and but you're under the you're under the 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 guys that that pretty much, the, lack of a better term, they're getting what they deserve, even though you know it, it's it's kind of the bad way to go about it, I guess. Yeah, it's a bad way to go. Of course it is. It's, I mean, they, it's a very stupid way to go. About oh, yeah. It. But, but you know, you can only push people to a certain... That, that's what he's saying. It, you true. Know, well, keep but, on messing with people. Send you the, I'll send you the details. Uh, yeah, please do. Message. I just don't want to do it on the phone. Okay? No, not understand. a problem. No, well, we, we pre- right. appreciate Smitty, the call. Yeah. Hey, Smitty made a good point about those spider jets, you know. There's an old saying, keep your... And, uh, Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. All right, Pete. That's that's a scar All face. Right, guys. All right, <laughs> Thank take you, care, Pete. buddy. Yeah, see, I just I, I just can't agree with that any more than you know. You don't send people that want to kill you weapons that they can kill you with. Let them buy those weapons from somebody else. Yeah, but you can't do it. But you know, as far as the cop killer goes, man, I mean, this guy, they haven't found it. But you know, here's the thing. Now he's he's trained, he's trained, you know, trained from the Navy. Uh, he was like a Navy reservist, but he did have to go, like in 06, uh, up to Kosovo or, or Bahrain or one of those places to, to do some, uh, you know, seven or eight months over there. So he's got military training. Sure. He's a, he's a marksman with a, with a rifle and with a pistol. Um, but man, if he's up in those mountains, you know, they're it's snowing up there now. Even a, a, a Navy SEAL who's part of this, uh, t- a tracking team said that if you're not, like, in, into these mountains, like, if you're not from there, you don't live there. You don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a desolate, Difficult place to survive, even after a couple of days, man. You could be, you could just, you, you may not make it because it's so cold that the cold gets to you, and that you know they may just find him frozen somewhere. But like you said, he may end up just taking his own life. He may. He may. I mean, I, I don't know, but it sounds to me like he's he's really got a grudge against the LAPD. He's going to ambush these guys. They're going to they're going to come in two by two looking his, for him. He wants his name exonerated, and he wants him to say to tell the truth. And you know, and he sent he wa- several letters saying this that he I has never a manifesta lied. Manifesto that he put on his Facebook page, and he wrote this whole thing about it. And it goes manifesto? on. Manifesto. Yeah, it does. It did. Manifesto, and you can get that with cheese. I thought the manifesto. I thought, like che- I thought the manifesto was like a cheese yeah, item. You can get that with cheese and, and, and meatballs. Okay. And, uh, but it's he wrote it, and it was really really interesting. And I think that. You know, some people snap, and, and like he said, if you push people too far and keep pushing, that's why people snap. And you remember Rambo First Blood, man? Yeah. He snapped. He, you know, snapped he was minding his own business. Brian Dennehy, the sheriff, just pushed him a little bit too far. Rambo had some flashbacks from Vietnam. Talk, and... about, talk about people that snap. Remember the 18-year-old who flipped off the judge? Oh, yeah, the girl. Yeah, she was 18-year-old from South Florida. She was sentenced to 30 days in jail for flipping the bird at the judge this week. And, but she ended up apologizing to him. Of course she did. Her name did. was Penelope Soto. She apologized to the judge, Jorge Rodriguez Comart, for displaying the middle finger, an incident that drew national headlines and a video of which went viral online. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty funny. And to some people, she's a hero. How many times have you been in court where somebody just slammed you and you just felt like really giving it to them? And... You know, you're afraid well, because like, you're, like, you'll get 30 days. Like we were saying yesterday, man, and, and we had a you know our, our website guy and a photographer for the show. He was saying the only way to not get involved in that situation is to just stay away from it. Because once once you get arrested, once you're in the system, you, there's no there's no real help for you unless you've got money or unless you know someone. Because they're just going to bury you, man. There's no one to call, no one to talk to. There's no 911 for someone who accidentally gets arrested or gets arrested by mistake. Sure. You're in there until you go to court, until you, then you have to prove your innocence. They're not proving your guilt, it doesn't seem. No. You gotta prove your innocence. No, that, that's a, that's a farce that people say, well, you're innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, you are, oh, you're is, guilty as day the, one. That is the biggest BS bunch of lie that you've ever heard in my entire life. Cause when you go there, you are done. Yep. You have to prove your innocence. You prove your On innocence. that note, uh, let's take a quick break. 
277-9600, Ledge Radio Show. We'll be right back. It doesn't get better than live classic rock, a cold beer, and delicious barbecue. Bands Brew and Barbecue is back at Bush Gardens every Sunday from February 10th through March 3rd. Unlimited samplings of over 100 craft beers, finger licking barbecue, and live rock concerts from bands like John Kay and Steppenwolf, the Doobie Brothers, and more. Keep listening to 96K Rock to win a pair of tickets to Bush Gardens and enjoy Bands Brew and Barbecue. You. Honey, we need to talk. Oh, what's wrong now? Well, you know you tried to fix the roof last week, and now our AC is broken again. Well, what are you talking about? I fixed that AC a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Fixing stuff is not your expertise. That's why I call the Western Reserve Roofing and AC. Their school techs can fix the problem or give us a written estimate for repair. Western Reserve services all of Southwest Florida. In Florida, nothing takes more of a beating than your roof and AC system. Western Reserve offers sales, service, and installation for commercial and residential projects. Don't wait till it's too late. Call Western Reserve now at 239-687-6084. 239-687-6084. They guarantee all their work at the best price possible. Hey. Hey, honey, what is my expertise? Well, we'll talk. But now take out the trash, all right? Call Western Reserve now at 239-687-6084 and let them fix it right the first time. Roof license number CCC 132-805 and AC license number CAC 022-422. Securing your family, your business, your property. That's what's important in your world. No matter how big, no matter how small, secure your world with Imperial Fire Alarm and Security today. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security is a local company with hometown service the way it should be. One call to Imperial will align you with the most effective fire alarm security and surveillance systems as well as state-of-the-art wireless monitoring. If you're a property manager or condo association member, ask about Imperial's wireless monitoring systems to replace costly and unreliable phone lines and save your community thousands from individual homes to large communities. Imperial Fire Alarm and Security can secure your world. Don't you think it's time to secure your world? Imperial Fire Alarm and Security services lead Charlotte and Collier County. Learn more at imperialfiresecurity.com or to schedule your free consultation, call 239-288-6482. Secure your world at imperialfiresecurity.com. License number EF200046. Duncan's Diamonds, the largest diamond and jewelry superstores, is having a diamond sale with savings of up to 75%. Find great prices on certified diamonds. Make Mr. Duncan an offer. Duncan's Diamond Extravaganza, Fort Myers, US 41, and in the Gulf Coast Town Center. Hey, it's the huge man right here in Cape Coral. Oh, that's right. It's Billy Fusillo at Fusillo Kia, Pine Island Road, 242-7000. That's right, 242-7000, folks. And I'm here to tell you about an unbelievable offer. And when I say unbelievable, I mean hugely unbelievable. Folks, listen closely. Zero down. Don't bring 10 cents. Just sign your name. Drive away in a brand new Optima Hybrid, one more time, Optima Hybrid, $199 a month. That's under $7 a day. You know what it is? It's huge. 39 month, 39,000 mile lease, 12,000 mile per year, 20 cents over my limit, 6% tax, 595 acquisition fee, $400 disposition fee, $400 early termination fee. All rebates and incentives apply, plus tax tag and DMV with approved credit through Kia Motor Finance. Prior sales excluded. See dealer for details. Offer ends February 28, 2013. This is it. The final days of Sutherland Nissan's giant mm -hmm. with a lot of expansion sale. Right now, get final expansion discounts up to $11,000 off MSRP. All backed by Sutherland's lifetime warranty. And don't forget Sutherland Nissan is open noon to 7 p.m every Sunday, in-store or online at NissanSales.com. And remember, if it doesn't say Sutherland, you pay too much. One or more price, example 2411, model number 26612, VIN number 621549, vehicle subject to prior sale. The world's greatest Pink Floyd show, Brit Floyd, presents Pulse World Tour 2013, the Pink Floyd ultimate light and sound experience. Amazing note-for-note -note performances of five full Pink Floyd album size. Live at Jermaine Arena on Tuesday, April 20. 3rd at 8 p.m. with stunning video animation, dazzling laser show, theatrics, and inflatables. An evening you'll never forget. Tickets are on sale now at Jermaine Arena's Capital Bank box office or at Ticketmaster.com.
Want to know where to catch the big ones? It all starts with a trip to the Fishing Tackle Outlet on US 41 in North Fort Myers. The Fishing Tackle Outlet features the lowest prices in town on Penn Battle Reels and Miro Lure MR-17s and 14s. The Fishing Tackle Outlet not only has great prices, but also great advice from a friendly, experienced staff. Get blowout prices on fresh and saltwater combos starting at just $29.99. And the Fishing Tackle Outlet now offers offers fishing charters starting at just $300. Located at 18461 North Tamiami Trail, two miles north of the Shell Factory on US 41 in North Fort Myers. Look for the yellow building. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 till 7, Sunday, 10 till 6. Call 239-731-8385 or visit fishingtackleliquidators.com. So remember, the secret to catching the big one starts at Fishing Tackle. Outlet. The Ledge Radio Show with Janie and Smitty. Oh, son of a bitch, Paul, why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Now back to the Ledge Radio Show with Janie and Smitty on 96 K Rock. Welcome back, 239 277 or 775 9600 you can email us at JD or Smitty at theledgeradioshow.com, and you can check out our live stream every Saturday at theledgeradioshow.com. So, Smitty, what do you think about these drones, man? Drones around the U.S. now. The drones around the U.S. I think that um, it's very contagious, this thing is going to be going out of control like a lot of things. They're going to start putting and They're using them now. They're using them now. Do you think it's a violation of anybody's personal personal privacy? I think the big problem here is with the Amer- people saying, "Hey, should we use them on Americans?" You know, like that's that's your free pass to be an evil SOB who wants to kill people. You know, because we know that there's a lot of people out there that will say, "I'm an American," like that guy from Aqua Aqua Bobby or whatever his name was. They killed him over in Iran. Anwar Al Alaki yeah, yeah, Alaki yeah, He was an American, and he had the other guy who was an American who was it was a, a a radical Muslim. They killed him over there. Right, they, I have no problem with them shooting him over there. What? So 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 why don't they just go up into say a, a a mountainside in in wherever, and they'll create their own Islamic radical network, and they then are. and then they can build their bombs, and they can do and they can use it like a little camp, and then we can't touch them. Because they're Americans, I say if you're a, if you're an evil piece of garbage and you want to hurt people, I say blow them to smithereens. I, I say I'm use all, them and no, blow I, them up. I agree. I don't want them gaining speed he, here. I don't want them gaining them traction. I'm with you. And here's the thing: if you're if you're an American, but you've turned on your country, you're no longer an American. You're a traitor. You're you're doing something that's treasonous to this country. And if you're overseas or if you're here doing it, you're 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 American, a, a domestic terrorist. Then you got to be taken out, whether it's drone or with gun or whatever. But here's my issue with this: the Justice Department has now issued a memo yes. revealing a legal case for drone strikes on Americans. the The charging statement in this is if they deem you a a threat to America. Well, they've the left has already said the Tea Party are all they're terrorists. No. Oh, they have. I don't buy that at all. No, they have. I don't buy. They've that at said all. it. You said it. I'm saying what they've said. I, I don't believe that. For, the Tea Party is not terrorists. For four years they did this. Look. For five years now they've done this. And they've said the Tea Party are like terrorists. And now, so what's to that's stop? Like, that's like what's s- to stop this administration from declaring certain members that stand out against the Obama administration as a threat to the United States? And all of a sudden, that person. So what? Gone. What constitutes a threat is what you're trying to say. Yeah, I would say a person standing up with a sign saying "I love America." Well, a lot is not of people a are saying Obama is violating the civil, civil, civil liberties and the due process. That's what they're saying. Absolutely is. Okay, so as usual, as usual, right? But the, I'm telling you now, when you have a radical organization that's like camped, the Obama administration, yeah, like oh. camped into a, 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 a hill somewhere and sure. they're building this this troops and I'm, force. I'm fine with, with, with I want to take that. them out. I have no problem with that. I have a problem with using drones. In the United States, on American citizens, when oh, when, when, there you go. There's that word, American citizens. When you can't even decide what an American citizen really is. Well, he ain't a good American citizen if he's a terrorist trying to I bomb agree. somebody. I I agree with that. At that point, terrorists I, I are think not. He's, terrorists have lost their their American rights. Okay, like a criminal that goes into prison for felony, he doesn't have the right to vote anymore. He's lost his rights. Okay, your your rights left you at the well, door of the prison. Well, many of the Congress people have now called for limits on the presidential authority to use drones. And, you know, a lot of people are sub- supportive of it. Some people are not. 
I don't have anything to hide. So I'm not a terrorist. I don't have anything to hide. They're never going to deem me as a, as a problem. Oh, that's and, because you don't speak out against the administration. No, I do. I, I, don't, I don't believe in everything to do, but I think if somebody's... How about somebody like me who's, who routinely posts stuff on Facebook, who routinely accepts and sends emails that are anti-Obama, anti-administration Th That's free information. speech. That's different. Sure it is, until they want to silence that free speech, until they, de until they deem you a, a threat to this country. That's, they're not worried about your free speech. This is designed for the people that are the radical Muslim radicals. I didn't see that in the in the. In well, that's the what it's designed anywhere. for. It's designed for the people that are, and I say Muslim, it could be anybody. They could call themselves the, 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 the junkies or whatever up in the hills. If they want to destroy people and hurt people, and they have a little compound sitting up there on a mountainside and they're just cultivating this whole thing and they're just growing more and more and more we just we have to do something there's over 50 sheriff's departments in the united states already that have put in their application to be allowed to use drones around the country including yep. four of them mm -hmm. in florida there you go miami there you go. They want to use drones. What are they using drones for in Florida? They're not. They're, this is the sheriff's department. They're not trying to find terrorists to drop bombs on them. What would the sheriff's department be using they that drone for? They got cameras now, anyhow. They can see anything. They got so cameras everywhere. So you just say everywhere. it's okay to just keep on going keep with on it. Keep on going with it. Drones everywhere. Put the drones. Have up. you seen that they got drones now the size of a uh, of a mosquito that can extract DNA when it lands on you? No, I haven't seen that one. Yet. That's out too. Technology is there, man. You know, there, there's every way possible that they can come up with to. Take away your personal rights, your your civil liberties. They're doing it, and this is just another well, method. House why would why would we turn drones on on Americans? They're, they're in America? not good Americans. House Speaker John Boehner announced his support of the administration's drone policy. The administration has agreed to provide Congress with legal justification for their drone policy, but this is passed has shown to have no signs of backing down on issues related to national security. So there's support for it out there. That he's referring to drones overseas, not the drones in America. You, if, if, there, there's what, a, there's what's a, to keep a bunch of people to come over here from overseas, imports, if you would, and set up camp here in a, in a desolate area and start training their their Al Qaeda out I in the know, middle of the I'm desert? I'm sure they desert. can. They come right across right. the Mexican so border. So I say, use the drones on them. I don't. I don't want to send a bunch of troops in and have guys killed. Use the drone. Use the drones in use America. Them. Drop bombs evil, on America. On Americans, if they're bad, they got to go. Why I can't we send our troops there? Because, why can't we send why our should we put there? men in harm's way? We can just drop one bomb in and done. Next. That, it's, it's not as simple as that, though. What if there are innocent civilians nearby? You know, we're, we're constantly hearing that we're killing innocent Afghans, which well, obviously, I don't think Obviously, they're not going to drop it in the middle of New York City. Obviously. They could use one. They could use oh, one. Oh, now they're okay to use it in New, they're York, New York City. Boy, they can, they can <laughs> have an earthquake and float off the, the edge of the country and just sink into the ocean. I'll be fine with that. Let's take a caller. On line one, I've got Michael from Alva. Michael, you're on the Ledge Radio Show. Yeah, this is my first time calling, first time I've ever heard the show, but you're talking about drones and civil liberties. I, I don't know the gentleman's name that's talking about protecting your rights and being able to, to say that the drones are going to be used only to protect the people that are doing bad things. You give the government the right to, to just start using carte blanche and saying, we're going to fly the drones over the U.S., they're not going to limit who they're watching. They're going to be out there watching everyone and everybody and anything that we do. Absolutely. Once they get, once they get the, the authority to do this, they will be watching. They're watching everybody now. You're right. This will be increasing their ability to, to surveil and watch everything that we do. And if you think that just be you're going to limit them by saying you can only do it against the bad guys, that ain't happening. It'll be everybody. At any time. I agree, Michael. And just so you know, since you are a first time caller, I'll give a little synopsis here of the show. You got myself, JD, on the, I'm on the far right, and you got Smitty, who represents the other side of the spectrum. I'm the common sense. I'm the guy with the voice of reason. He's here. the guy with his head in the sand. I'm as far the guy as I'm that concerned. understands that the progressive way, way the life is moving and the world we live in now is not 1920s like JD liked to think it is. Anyway, so Michael, we appreciate the call, and I appreciate the fact that you. You, you stand with me on this side in that the fact that we know that if we give the government it's an a inch, slippery slope. they're going to take a mile. It's a slippery slope. I'll give you that. Yeah, take care, buddy. Thanks for the call. But I'm right. telling you, when Thank you, you, when you fi find that there's a camp somewhere and they've got 10,000 people find sitting a camp, out there. If we find a camp in, in Arizona, Texas, okay, Texas. Texas, and you need to drop a bomb on them, uh -huh. fly an F-16 over there and drop a bomb on them. 
What's, the, what's, the, difference between, what's the, the difference between a drone and an F-16 dropping a bomb? Well, at least you've got an actual person and not some Google geek that's controlling it from D.C., some 16-year-old kid that knows how to play video games. Geek. Absolutely. That's who's doing this. That's who's, Let me that's tell you who's something. They are drones. the future of this nation, these Google geeks. Okay, they are the future. Coming from the liberal Smart homophobe. kids that are, are out there engineering these things. Don't get somebody started on the blacks them. and the Jews. Okay, let's take another call. Line two, we got Jason from Bonita. Jason, you're on the Ledge Radio Show. How are you doing? Good. I'm a little sick today, guys. Uh, I actually did speak to you guys a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was about a month or so ago. And uh, we didn't get to speak all that long because I lost my driver's license on my way to work. Um, first of all, uh, Schmitty, you're the one on the left? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Do you believe in your Fourth Amendment constitutional right to, pr from protection against illegal and unreasonable search and seizure? Yes. You do? Yeah, as long as I'm okay. not a terrorist. Okay, all right. Well, look, here, here's the thing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a progressive moderate, and uh, I'm becoming more and more libertarian these days, and I never thought in a million years I'd be siding with Republicans on this, on this or any issue, okay? And that's no offense to you, J.D., no, and no, no offense to any other Republican out there either. But uh, are you aware of the National Defense Authorization Act? Maybe? Yes, yes. Yep. Yes, you are. Yeah, oh, wow. I'm aware of it. And I'm not for think, it. And what do you think of that? I don't like what it. If, what if George W. Bush had done that? They'd have been supporting like it. him all the way. There would be blood in the streets. There would have been blood in the streets. And you know it. Right? Are you if asking me signed, if... If you would have signed something as... as as a constitutionally crushing, and I and I am biting well, he, my tongue. Well, Jason, I am biting my tongue on on words here. Obviously, hey. he would have signed something so constitutionally molesting. Right. Blood, but, but blood he didn't. Right. Blown. Well, now are you saying that there'd be blood on the street because the liberals would be out there picketing again? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well these remember are this. Liberals. Remember these this. Liberals. Yeah, I, I know. Jefferson was a liberal. Remember God. this: Bush did sign did sign the, the Patriot Act, which it has Absolutely, some good things, yeah. but it had a bunch of bad things in it. Bunch Absolutely, of bad. It was Absolutely. a good intention. It was a good intention gone awry, and yeah, I and it went way I don't awry. Even believe I don't even believe that really. I'm not a big like I said. I'm not a big Bush fan. Not a big mainline Republican fan either. And I'm not putting anybody's party down. I'm not doing any of that. I think there's good and bad on both sides. This this whole drone thing is it constitutionally crushing your Fourth Amendment right. I agree. And I, I'm with you on it. Are, we are we are in danger. You're we in a different in world, man. Things change, and and unfortunately, we live in a society now where this is what you're going to have to protect yourself on your own homeland. This is how it's going to go. Hey, Jason. But being partisan, but being partisan on these issues is not going to get us anywhere. It's not going to get us anywhere. We need to look through the. Uh, we need to look behind the facade of the curtain, yeah. and then look beyond that and see who's really pulling the strings. Hey, look Jason. At, look, at, look at something Jason. like HR three forty seven, sir. Jason, we're on, we're up on a hard break, man. We're at the end of the show. We got to let you go, but call back call next back, week. Call back. We're going to address this again next week. All right. Thanks for your call, buddy. So next week we'll be back on uh, some other good topics. The Ledge Radio Show with JD and Smitty. We'll be back next week. See. You.